President, governor, and anything that will take money away from our parks and libraries. Go vote now. It'll make you feel big and strong. WIBX 950 and 106.9 FM. The Keeler Show. Well, good morning, boy. Do we have some weather to talk about? I hate to say, but that's in the news. The eclipse is in the news. Well, it, maybe that uh, has something to do with the weather. Jesus is in the news. Of course, two days ago, Easter. Right. Maybe it has something to do with the weather. I don't know. Um, I don't think the Jesus part does. April's coming in like a lion. Hopefully it'll go out like a lion. I know that's well, March's thing, but March was quite mild. We are about to get some really nice weather, but before we get there, we are going to have to deal with what we are about to deal with. And this could be one of the biggest storms we've had in the world. In a long time, at the very least. So, in a long time. Um... So do we go uh, with Richard's assessment or do we go with uh, Mike Johnson? Richard. Yeah, um, I'm trying to see if Richard has any uh, input here this morning other than I told you so, <laughs> uh, because basically he's uh, he's been telling us. So here's what he's here's what Richard is saying. Now, according to Mike Johnson and the weather forecast uh, from our weather center, um, we are looking at rain and snow, a winter storm watch in effect. This is a, an event that will go uh, tonight, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. And all of it depends on how much, uh, where the temperature ends up going, the difference between rain and snow. Now, higher elevations may get a lot of snow. Mm-hmm. Um, we may only get a little. Um, Richard says this is a tough one. With up to two, three to five inches of precipitation, and that's what we're talking about. Three to five inches of either rain or that would turn into feet of snow. Um, it all depends on temperature. If, uh, if snow, we could expect uh, feet of snow. Anyways, it's going to be a disaster and a dangerous storm. It'll last probably four days as well. Four so days? It, it, it will. Today, tomorrow, Get out Thursday, of and Friday. Yeah. This is a uh, this is a very interesting storm. Did you just say I don't believe that? I don't believe it. Okay, all right, that's good. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, here's what the National Weather Service at this point is saying, and it's very, really, very little. Uh, snow showers will start today as it's a bit cooler, and then uh, rain as the day wears on. High 45 tonight, uh, about a quarter of an inch of rainfall, 38 degrees. Most of that will be in the form of rain. Higher elevations. Again, depends on where your temperature uh, lies. Tomorrow, uh, watching a potential storm, winter storm, windy with periods of rain. Another half an inch of rain with a high of 41. Again, where does the temperature fall? Wednesday night, potential winter storm with rain and snow in the evening. Becoming snow late, low 33, depending on where the temperature is, maybe only about an an inch of snow. Thursday, Watching a potential winter storm. Cloudy with rain and snow in the morning. Snow will become intermittent in the afternoon and a high of 39. More of a chance of rain and snow there. Uh, Thursday night, snow showers, snow accumulations, less than an inch. Uh, Again, all of this depends on where the temperature has been going. And then the, uh, the storm lingers into Friday. With moderating temperatures, they say, will change morning snow showers to rain showers, 
high 39 before everything begins to taper off Friday night into Saturday, where Saturday will be cloudy, 45. Now, here's the interesting news. Right now for Monday, the eclipse day, high near 60 degrees and sun and clouds. So based on that, we might actually be able to see the eclipse with this mm. high pressure coming in interesting. on Sunday and Monday. So there you have a very interesting, really interesting, as you say, start to the month of uh, month of April. Wow. Well, listen, I don't know where Richards does his uh, his research. If he's got, like I said, if he's got the little weather bug, weather He may have out. one of those things that you put out there, and if it, yeah, looks, it looks like, like a little Doppler, snow, it turns a little gray, or maybe it turns a little yellowish if it's, I don't know, one of those things. This doesn't seem like the type of storm that's going to warrant a lot of a- accumulation, so to speak, unless it's... Um, no, this is the storm. This is a storm that, depending on the temperature... Could deliver feet of snow. Oh, I don't know. With all the rain mixed in with that, I mean, it could. Randy, just... Andrew, listen carefully. This is the this is a storm that could could result in feet of snow, all depending on the temperature. So you may be right. It may be all rain and no snow at all. Maybe a little bit of snow. It may be that heavy wet snow where tree branches and and power lines come down. Mm. It may be feet of snow again we're on that line it depends on where how far that that canadian cold drops down and then you have to take a look at if you live in the higher elevations where it's usually about four or five degrees cooler um you may be getting snow while everybody else in the valleys are getting rain so this is very unpredictable it is uh it is long it's going tuesday wednesday thursday friday and uh, Wow. We'll see if we're in the path of totality. We are very lucky that we the storm. that we do not have um that we 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 don't have a lot of snow. Because this you add the rain to it, we'd be dealing with a bunch of a uh, bunch of runoff and flooding and all of that, and we're probably not gonna get any of that. Uh let's see. Boy, and, a, and another blow to the Citroen wheelchair event. Ugh. Poor Mark DiPerno. Uh Davey, what do we know here this morning? We have another player who's who's canceling out from Syracuse. Yeah, so, Bill, it was originally supposed to be Juna Mitz and J.J. Starling. That was going to be huge. Yes, and then uh, there's rumors that Starling might enter the transfer portal. Who knows what's going on with Juna Mitz. <laughs> and then it was announced that Chris Brown and Malik, Chris Bell and Malik Brown were going to be there. And then Malik Brown... Uh, tweeted yesterday that he thanked Adrian Autry. He's now in the transfer portal, so that only leaves Chris Bell coming. So I feel bad for Mark DiPerno. Uh We just don't uh, – We I don't know who he's going to uh, have playing in the wheelchair event. Some years it's uh, – I mean, we've had the Bayheim, uh the Beheim brothers there. So Yeah, yeah. we've had – he's had Eric Devendorf. Yeah. Well, uh, well, you'll be playing in it, Bill, right? So yes, there's that. Yes. That's next Thursday. I'm always an amazing player in that game, <laughs> not really. Uh, Syracuse paper this morning talking about this storm, calling it a long-duration storm that could bring rain, heavy snow to upstate New York in early April. And again, everybody keeps going back to this is like punting. Bread and milk. I think it's a lot like punting by saying... Well, it all depends on where the temperature goes. We're going to get a lot of rain, we're going to get a mix, or we're going to get a lot of snow. Um, Yeah. Uh, Cicadas this year, they say, are going to be the worst they've been in many years. Trillions. Not millions, not billions, but trillions of red-eyed periodical cicadas are ready to show and crawl out from underground every 13 or 17 years. We'll be dealing with that, they say, in the United States this year. Spring, an unusual cicada double dose is about to invade a couple of parts of the United States, according to the University of Connecticut. They're calling it cicada get on. Uh, Amadeus, Amadeus. That's right. The last time these broods came together uh, happened in 1803. Thomas Jefferson wrote about the cicadas in his garden book, (laughs) <laughs> but mistake, mistakenly called them locusts uh, while he was president. And um, uh, we'll be uh, dealing with these two types of cicadas coming this year. They say it will be a rough year for the cicadas. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, we were on a uh, trip last year on vacation, and I forgot exactly where we were. The cicadas were so loud you couldn't sleep. Wow. And usually you would think, well, that sound allows you to sleep. It's a beautiful sound. Sometimes there's, uh, there's an app you can get, and it'll be the, the cicada yeah, sound. Like the white noise. That white noise. But this was so loud, it was, uh, it was kind of tough to sleep through. Yesterday, um, I was out at the Turning Stone Resort and Casino at the Tower for the arrival of the U.S. women's hockey team. Ooh, how'd that go? It went well. And actually, if you go to our website, we have some great photos by none other than Nancy L. Ford, who takes She's the uh, best. amazing photos. And here they are. You can see some of them here on our website at WIBX950.com as the ladies make their way in. They're coming in from Lake Placid, where they played uh, Chechnya, I believe, um, on Saturday night. They won six to one in a in a preliminary game. Here are the ladies getting off the bus. I mean, this is basically they're smiling. They've had a long trip in from you know. There's no easy way from Lake Placid. No, it's one, there's no one straight shot. It's, basically, it's just it's slow riding. There's and a, there's a young lady that played for Colgate. This year, that's on this team USA. I believe, yeah. There's one from Cornell, um, and the list goes on of uh, of all of these players. You can uh, you can check it all out up there on our website. Some of the photos. They will play their first game on Wednesday at 7 p.m. at the Adirondack Bank Center against Switzerland. The uh, U.S. team. That's tomorrow. The U.S. team is favored to uh, to win and come back and be return champions. But it involves some, uh, some, some of the – well, it involves the biggest teams in the world. And, of course, that big game will happen on the 8th, Monday, uh, Eclipse Day, against the United States and Canada. Canada. Yeah. This is big going on. This is enormous that's happening at the odd. And the puck drops tomorrow on this at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. So we made a uh, call because we're not able to get everything. Uh, I mean, listen, we're in a very unique situation in that we have been broadcasting remotely for a month now. Do you realize it's been a month? Yeah. It's or we're believe. coming up. This might be the month. Yeah. This week. And so the decision was made that we were going to be broadcasting from over at the odd. By the time we were able to find the right location, uh, another (laughs) decision ended up being made yesterday in that we're going to end up for the next two weeks staying put uh, right here. And you know what? It's not normal that I make a decision like this personally. I, I tend to think, ah, we can pull it off. Yeah. And and the reality is we have things working the last thing I want to do is to go into a situation where the Internet's not working, where we're, you know. So we'll we'll be doing uh, all of our interviews from over there, but we will stay put here, making this our home away from home base. Davey, I know that's a relief for you because a lot of this would be falling on your shoulders. Yes, thank yeah, you. There you go. It's all <laughs> for you, man. You. <laughs> it's all for you. Not uh, for all of us. For the good it's of the show. All, for the good of the program. It's all for all of us. I don't know if you were watching Wheel of Fortune the other night. Uh, did you see the April Fool's prank? Oh, no, I didn't. Jared Leto walked out with Vanna White at the beginning of the show and introduced the first puzzle. Then he disappeared and was replaced by Pat Sajak. Here's the opening of the show and what went down. And gentlemen, here are the stars of our show, Jared Leto and Vanna White. Thank you. Thank you. Is this uh, it's just Leto? Is this guy been named as the replacement uh, for? All right, everybody. No, he's a Vice he's an artist. It's time to an give actor. away some money. A thousand dollars in our first toss up. The category is on the map. Well, here's the thing: they made the decision to never ever mention what had happened and just continue the show normally, so we don't know. It was their little April Fool's prank. Wow, <laughs> boy, did you get you us? You got us. You got us good. Oh, boy. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Mike this morning says, wow, will wonders never cease? Bill Keeler made a rational decision. <laughs> I'm telling you, the decision was just, we uh, went, to, I remember funny. that first week when we set everything up and we tweaked and everything was tweaked and it just was uh, yelling. Man. I mean, if you think it's difficult to do this in a controlled setting, imagine, imagine trying to do it 
in an RV. So maybe that was a rational decision. Um, I'm like, we're operating right now. Let's not push it. Today is National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day. And isn't that amazing? At the same time yesterday, we were all trying the uh, the peanut butter and jelly turkey joints. How and incredible. A review on the new Nora's Candy Shop peanut butter and jelly turkey joints. 11 out of 10 is what I say. Davey, even you who don't like turkey joints. Yeah. Davey doesn't like turkey joints. Well, that, what is it, Davey? It's about the texture of it, or was it the flavor of the hazelnut you don't like? <clears throat> He's coming to the microphone now. I know. I asked him when he walked Sitting away. down, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you ask him when he's upstairs? That'd be it's cool. both the hazelnut and the texture. Oh, and the uh, texture. So okay. About All right. It. Uh, Can't da, be perfect in every da, aspect. Da, da, today, did I mention his National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day? I guess I did. You we were did. just talking about it. You know, I have you ever had those Uncrustables? Those are an easy to go, easy on the go um, snack. Um, no, nah, I've never you had keep those. them in the freezer and they're crustless. They were, my kids were into those when they were yeah. in high school, and yeah. I never had one. Uh, I've I've never had one. A woman in Florida was caught shoplifting from a Walmart, and she claimed she was playing a really fun game called 21, where you steal <laughs> as much as you can and then dump it in a random car. She did end up getting arrested for drug trafficking, by the way. Here's Amber McCann being taken by police. Here we go. We're doing an investigation right now. Apparently somebody walked out with a car. car. I put it in a random car? Yeah. Yeah, that was me. Okay. Would you come over by the car with us? Uh, whose car is it? I don't know. Me neither. So where's all your stuff you took out of the store and I just put, put it, it I car? put it in a random car that was open. In a random car that was open? Yeah. For what? Because y'all were coming and I just ran up to the car and put it on. It's a game that we play. It's called 21. It's basically like you go and steal all the people and then you get out without getting caught. So well, I did it one other time than this time, but I got caught this time. So now I got to figure out where my purse is and where my merchandise is because now I got to give all the merchandise back to Walmart. Well, it's not really a game. Yeah, it is a good. It's theft. To you, that's theft. It's, so it's, 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 it's fun, too. It's really fun. Oh, going to jail is fun. Ah, uh, yeah. She's totally drugged out. You oh, can yeah. just tell. High as a kite. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I love the, uh, the, the this is how I'm going to get out of it. I'm just going to say uh, it was a game. It was a prank. My mama told me honesty is the best policy. <laughs> uh, in New York, um, uh, employees would come out, police and fire would show up. They'd all give her a round of applause. Yeah, right. See you on your way. We can't wait for you to try this again tomorrow. <laughs> fun, 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 till your daddy took the T-Bird away. <laughs> After welcoming guests for 67 years, folks, the Las Vegas, third oldest casino, by the way, in Las Vegas, Las Vegas is Tropicana. The Tropicana oh, will boy. close today at noon it will be demolished in October to make room for what will become the Las Vegas A's baseball stadium. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. official, huh? It is. Here's Sean wow. Connery as James Bond in Diamonds Are Forever talking about the Tropicana, followed by Count Basie from his 1969 album, Standing Ovation, that was recorded live in the showroom. I hear that the Hotel Tropicana is quite comfortable. There you go. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so that uh, will imagine the history and what has gone on in that hotel. Yeah. Let's well, what, see, you know, nobody will ever know because what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. It's the third oldest. So what do you still have left there? Uh, Flamingo's still there, right? Yep, the win. And, yeah, but I'm talking about old ones. Oh, the old ones? Um, yeah, so Flamingo is one of the older ones. I don't know what else. I don't know Vegas uh, all that well. Yeah, uh, I guess but, I don't either, apparently. But I do, uh, but I do <clears> love <throat> Vegas. We've been watching, my wife and I have been watching uh, this two-piece documentary. We're through piece number one, part number one. Number two is about the more modern times of Steve Martin. So many people checking out the two-part documentary about Steve Martin on Apple TV+. Plus. Here's some guy of his. Here's some of his classic stand-up from his Grammy Award-winning comedy album back in the day. A wild and crazy guy. But I am into the intellectual thing. I went to college. I studied the great philosophers, uh, Socrates. Uh, <laughs> I studied Plato. And, uh, you know, you learn the important things. Like if you're studying geology, which is all facts, as soon as you get out of school, you forget it all. You know, because it's just numbers and things but philosophy you remember just enough to screw you up for the rest of your life you know? and you studied the important like ethical questions is it okay to yell movie in a crowded firehouse <laughs> um, 
religious questions? If there is a God, give me a sign. See, I told you that the Queen of the House of will. Wouldn't it be weird if you died and you woke up and you were in heaven? Just like they always told you. And everybody had wings on and had pearly gates. Wouldn't you feel stupid? <laughs> oh no. You mean that this is what? Oh! What? You've been keeping records on me? Well, that wasn't so bad. How many times did I take the Lord's name in vain? Ooh. <laughs> million six. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, you and uh, if you get a chance, I initially was not overly interested in watching this um, documentary. Yeah, but we started watching it, and I couldn't stop. It was so good, you forget how enormous Steve Martin was, especially in the later 1970s. Uh, the documentary is called Steve in parentheses Martin, a documentary in two pieces. Thanks to it, a new generation is learning of this rock star. Uh, comedian. He really was a rock star back for, like from 74 to 1980, back uh, in the 70s. Yeah. Uh, for instance, well, he his, still is pretty popular. I mean, you got the, the all the films, but also the uh, he is, only uh, murders in the building. Yeah. I'm which not is saying great. he's not popular, but back then he was like enormous. The guy. And uh, the album went platinum, as a matter of fact, uh, we just heard that bit from. And the documentary explains that sometimes Steve's comedy tour was outselling Fleetwood Mac concerts in 1978. Back then, wow. 77, 78, with the Rumors album out, Fleetwood Mac was the number one uh, band in America back in, in those days. So, so quite literally, he was a rock he star. Was, uh, he was enormous. And, um, uh, and yeah, he's huge today, there's no doubt, but it's, uh, it's different. We saw him at the... At the Event center at the Turning Stone with uh, Martin Sheen. Martin uh, Short. Short. Yeah. Um, and I, know uh, I said Sheen. Did say Sheen. D different. Uh, different guy entirely. Different one. Yeah, a little bit different. Uh, anyway, uh, but back, you know, back then he was filling the dome. That's the difference. Wow. He would, you, you know, he'd do two, you know, fifty thousand people in a stadium. So, uh, nonetheless, uh, if you get a chance and you're looking to watch something, highly recommend Steve. All capitals, S-T-E-E-V-E. -E -E. I think I spelled it right, didn't I? Uh, let me break. Coming <laughs> up, we'll speak with uh, Ryan Schmelz from Fox News Radio in just a second here this morning. Also, uh, Dr. Kent Hall is on later on today. We'll talk more about this weather. I'm done screwing around. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not going to keep contemplating. We sit here and sound like idiots every single day, Andrew. We're like, yeah. well, I think that we're going to, I'm pretty sure we'll have a little darkness with the, uh, with the eclipse. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it lasts three minutes, but it might be 3.30. is isn't it two hours? Here, over there, the traffic. What makes this one different? Well, this one's different because um, we've just done way too much surmising. Yeah, yeah. So, therefore. Surmisers in chief. This morning, we will have two scientists in. From the from SUNY Poly, um, Dr. Shing Chi Lung and Dr. Christina A. Boylan will both be in here this morning to tell me that I mispronounced their names <laughs> and, uh, and uh, among we'll, other things. So we'll do that. That uh, so from eight thirty until nine this morning. Any question you might have about the eclipse. Anything you might know and want to sound smarter than a scientist. Do you want to sound smarter than a scientist? <laughs> uh, uh, you can call us, and our, our number is 315-723-3824, 315-723-3824. Sheriff Machel is on this morning. We'll chat with him. Robert Smullen, assemblyman uh, from uh, out towards the, uh, the Albany area. Um, he's voted no on the debt service bill, and he wants to explain why. We'll chat with him. Uh, coming up in a little bit. Ho Bikers free money question of the day. A little teaser, Davey. How much are we uh, giving away today? What are you planning on? Uh, 100. Man, he has gotten to you. $100. He has gotten to you. Yes, he has. 
Uh, I mentioned Ryan Schmelz. Uh, Speaker Johnson calls a meeting uh, to vocate, uh, vacate a discrimination from mission. We'll explain what all of that means in, in Washington talk with Ryan Schmelz coming up in just a minute. Stand by. Hold tight. We're currently at 647 on Tuesday morning at WIBX. Goes up and down independently, but it's still one solid mattress, and Mattress Express has the largest selection in New York State. Right now, get a queen flex head bed with adjustable base and sheets for only $14.99. Locations at mattressexpressny.com. If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navage Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navage is available online at navage.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Hi, this is Rob Hilton of Hilton Estate and Elder Law with important information that you should know regarding your estate planning. Specifically, you should have prepared what is known as the Big Three. Basic estate planning is comprised of the three main documents that you need. First is the will, next is the health care proxy, and last is the power of attorney. What most people don't know is how important of the three the power of attorney really is, because New York State has no simple method for you to act on another's behalf if they become incapacitated. I am often asked, what is probate and why is it needed? Probate is the act of administering the will through the New York State court system. It requires a filing fee and other actions to be taken as well as a petition to be filed. It is time consuming and can be expensive. It can be avoided by using a living trust. To find out more about strategies to protect your loved ones through proper estate planning, contact us at Hilton Estate and Elder Law. Call for more information and to schedule an in-person meeting to answer your questions. Hilton, you know the name. They know the law. Hilton Estate and Elder Law. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-518-1409. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at TRA.com or call 800-518-1409. That's 800-518-1409. Tax Relief Advocates, real solutions for real people. WIBX 950 and 106.9 FM. This is Keeler. Uh, we'll talk more about this weather forecast coming up. Um, it's always nice when the meteorologists say, all right, here's what's going to happen. Uh, we're going to get a lot of rain. Unless it's cooler. And then if it's cooler, we're going to get a lot of snow. But if it's somewhere in the middle, it's going to be a lot of uh, rain and snow mixture. And so there you go. Um, that's really what they're telling us. And I, I feel like it's a bit of a cop-out. Whatever happened to the day where the meteorologist would say, oh, we're definitely getting snow. But even Richard this morning uh, saying, you know, this is a tough one to predict. It could go either way. If it goes one way, we could get a lot of snow over the course of four days. So there you go. Isn't that just so exciting? On the line right now, Ryan Schmelz from Fox News Radio. And Ryan, good morning. Hey, good morning. So, all right, what are we talking about here? What's the topic? Because I'm, I'm looking at uh, <laughs> motion to vacate a distraction from mission. Well, that could be just about <laughs> anything at this point. <clears throat> right. So so you have Marjorie Taylor Greene, the congresswoman from Georgia, the yes. very outspoken congresswoman from Georgia, uh, calling for the motion to vacate and actually filing it right after that budget deal was passed, right before Congress went on recess. So what, what she is saying is that Johnson did not uh, get enough conservative victories in that last budget deal. And she's also threatened to use this if Johnson brings a Ukraine-only funding bill to the floor. Now, uh, Johnson has said that this would be a divisive thing. He has said he has exchanged text messages with Marjorie Taylor Greene and plans on calling her uh, this week. So 
we'll see where that goes. This is a uh, this is another battle uh, within the party, right? Uh, where of course, yeah. The conservatives don't want any deal. The conservatives would 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 prefer the government gets shut down, and not necessarily that's what they prefer, but but versus in order to force a deal with the uh, the mainstream and the uh, the liberals, it seems. Right. Yeah. So so. They, they, you know, we're, we're supposed to start the budget process almost immediately. The next, you know, funding battles are supposed to begin before, you know, we hit the next deadline. And we've got a lot of time before then. We've got until at least September until we have another uh, budget battle or another another shutdown showdown. But at the same time, Republicans want to get this thing started as quickly as possible and they want to get wins in this thing. But they're not quite sure that's going to happen just with their slim house majority. So when those battles start to happen and, and they have to negotiate with the Senate and the White House, you know, getting what they want is going to be hard to do. Uh, the other problem you're uh, you're dealing with is this is I mean, we cannot uh, ignore the fact that this is a midterm year with a presidential election. So yep. all these guys have to go back and and face in some cases face opponents. They do. No, they absolutely do. You know, uh and in some cases, some of these ultra right conservatives like Bob Good, who chairs the House Freedom Caucus, you know, he's in a situation where he's got a challenger uh, from somebody uh, from, from from the McCarthy wing of the party who's bitter that he voted to oust Speaker McCarthy. So, you know, there's a lot of inner fighting that we haven't seen before. We've seen, you know, certainly some maybe, you know, Tea Party or, or America First challengers go after some of the moderate candidates. But now you've got kind of this pushback from the moderate wing of the party going after some of the hardliners who voted to oust McCarthy. Wow. Um, all right. Going to be very I mean, again, I don't know who would want the uh, the leader position. No, nope. um, uh, because it is just I mean, look, at. I mean, it, it did so much to McCarthy. He's like, screw this. I'm done, done. I'm done. Yeah. Um, well, they should have never had that. The rules. They it would change the rules. In hindsight, yeah. it probably yeah. would have been better to have it but stick it, around and fight it, longer. It is a thankless position where you're you're damned if you do and damned if you don't, uh, Ryan. Yeah, no, it, it, it certainly is that that question of if we see another speaker ousted, uh, who is going to want the job? I think that's a big, big, big talking point that that gets brought up a lot. And you know, I, I, one of the reasons why. Johnson might actually be safe from a motion to vacate is, well, if he brings a Ukraine-only bill to the floor, number one, there might be some Democrats who bail him out. But number two, I think there is this thought that amongst Republican circles, and Matt Gates, who led the, the effort to oust McCarthy in the first place, has said this too, where he believes uh, if they oust Johnson, then they're in a situation where there are Republicans out there who might vote for Akeem Jeffries the Democrat minority yeah, leader yeah, yeah. to be the Speaker of the House, so uh, there is a concern that 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 Alston Johnson would would have more uh, problems for Republicans than any type of benefit. It kind of reminds me of the time we were uh, we were at uh, Thanksgiving dinner, and um, uh, my mother was very very important very important to make sure that all the chairs matched, and we had one chair because we had eleven people, one mismatched chair, and I remember my mother saying. All right, burn all the chairs. So we stood for dinner uh, that year, and that's kind of the, the – philo- I, I realize that sounds ridiculous, but the reality is that's what some members are requiring, that they want uh, – they would rather burn everything down in in hopes to get what they want. The, the days of negotiation where you get a – you know, one side gets a little bit, the other side gets a little bit, and we all move the country forward – we don't seem to be living in that world right now. Well, yes, and, and the reality is for Republicans is that they don't really have much of a majority. They've yeah, got a very yeah. slim majority in the House. The yeah. Democrats yeah. control the Senate, and the Democrats control the White House. So uh, I think there's this thought that they get rolled on every time that they have uh, some type of fight like this, though Johnson might disagree with that. But Johnson did also acknowledge yesterday on Fox that, yes, there are a lot of things that he didn't like in the spending package. He's, he's very uh, aware of that, but... This is the type of reality they live in when yeah. they don't have uh, much to work with in terms of negotiating power. Uh, Ryan Schmelz, as always, we appreciate you. Hey, we appreciate you. Thank right. you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.
I uh, I fell into that trap of saying we appreciate you. I can't believe I no, did that. No, it's all right. You should. Uh, Mike, if these Republican battles continue, we're going to end up with Jeffries, the Democratic minority leader, becoming the Democratic majority leader. Uh, Mike, you're absolutely right. It's what Ryan was just mentioning. Um, it is a real issue. So, um, again, there was a time when it seemed like we could negotiate and be like, well, you're getting kind of what I what you want, and I'm getting what I want, and we're going to settle on that. But I, it's an all or nothing world that we're uh, we're currently living in the midst of. That's uh, uh, problematic, I would say. All right, we have a big hour coming up next hour. Hobika's free money question of the day. Davy said it's worth two hundred dollars this morning, right, Davy? <laughs> uh, we'll get to all that coming up here on Tuesday morning on WIBX. Indian electricians and the NECA contractor. We are pleased to partner with Syracuse University in providing our members with an opportunity to enhance their education at this great university. Syracuse University's partnership with the IBEW will provide talented students the opportunity to advance their careers while shaping the future of the electrical trades and the industries they serve. Central New York's future is bright and the IBEW Local 43 and NECA will continue to help light power and grow Central New York. A flex head bed is where each head goes up and down independently, but it's still one solid mattress, and Mattress Express has the largest selection in New York State. Right now, get a queen flex head bed with adjustable base and sheets for only $14.99. Locations at MattressExpressNY.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now, you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. From the Stanley Theater Studio, WIBX 950 Utica Rome, W295 DI Utica Rome, your news, talk, and sports leader, a Town Square media station. From Scotty Covered, I'm Chris Foster, Fox News. Former President Trump's assets are protected from seizure by state of New York while he appeals a civil business fraud judgment against him. Fox's Brooke Singman. The former president taking to Truth Social shortly after posting bond saying, quote, I've just posted a $175 million bond with the sadly failing and very troubled state of New York based on a corrupt judge and attorney general who used a statute that was never used for this before. The case was a fabricated election interference con job so bad for New York where businesses are fleeing and violent crime is flourishing. The 2024 Republican presumptive nominee originally owed $454 million, but an appeals court cut the bond by more than half. The judge in Donald Trump's criminal case about hush money and business records expands a gag order to stop attacks posted by Trump online against the judge's daughter. Hunter Biden's request to dismiss tax charges against him is rejected by a federal judge in Los Angeles. The president's son's case is scheduled to go to trial June 20th. Oregon Governor Tina Kotek signs a bill recriminalizing drug possession. The new law ends a voter-approved experiment which made the personal use and possession of drugs such as cocaine, heroin, and meth punishable only by a ticket and a maximum fine of $100. Measure 110, which was approved by nearly 60% of Oregon voters in 2020, called for money from the state's recreational marijuana tax to be used for addiction services. But the distribution of funds were slow and the setup of new treatment systems were hampered by the pandemic and the growing fentanyl crisis. The new law makes personal use possession punishable by up to six months in jail. Kevin Uretsky, Fox News. Six international food aid workers and their Palestinian driver are reported killed in an Israeli airstrike in Gaza. The Israeli military says it's investigating. America's listening to Fox News. 
Hey guys, Donald Trump Jr. here. Let me ask you this. Does inflation feel worse than what we're being told in the news? That's because the official inflation rate doesn't tell the whole story. Since January 2021, the cost of living has increased by 17.9%. You can't get that money back. But what you can do is stop your losses today. How? By diversifying your savings into a gold IRA from my friends at Birch Gold Group. When you're done, your money will be parked in a tangible asset with a proven history. To see how it works, get your free info kit on gold IRAs by texting the word PROTECT to 989898. I trust Birch Gold. They provide an easy process to roll over your 401k or IRA into gold without losing your tax advantaged status. So text PROTECT to 989898. That's PROTECT to the number 989898 to get your free info kit on gold IRAs from Birch Gold. Message and data rates may apply. A 12-year-old is killed, two others wounded in a school shooting in Finland. The suspect is also 12 and has been detained by police. Finland's Interior Minister Mari Rantanen posting on X that the day started in a horrifying way. After two school shootings in 2007 and 2008, Finland tightened its gun ownership laws, introducing an aptitude test and a minimum age of 20. Jonathan Savage, Fox News. Former President Trump's stock in his media company is worth about $3.7 billion now, down from more than $6 billion last week. Shares of Trump Media and Technology Group dropped more than 23% Monday, only days after a highly publicized public debut that set the company's value at more than $8 billion. The shares that trade under the ticker DJT plummeted after the parent company of former President Trump's Truth Social platform reported it lost $58 million last year and said it would struggle to meet its financial liabilities going forward. Fox's Carmen Roberts. An impeachment trial set to start next week when the Senate's back from Easter recess. The House approved articles of impeachment against Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas along party lines. With the Senate set to hold a trial, Democrats like LaFonza Butler of California aren't sure what that will look like. Leader Schumer has not been specific in how he intends to, to e execute on that. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has said senators will be sworn in as jurors and the trial will take place. Senator Butler hopes the allegations are dismissed quickly. Mayorkas is accused of misleading the public about the border being secure and of not enforcing the law. In Washington, Ryan Schmelz, Fox News. Houston Astros' Renel Blanco throws a no-hitter against the Toronto Blue Jays, winning 10-0. He's 30 years old, making just his eighth career start. I'm Chris Foster, Fox News. Good morning, WIBX 950 News Time 705. I'm Andrew Domenio. We're at 39 degrees under cloudy skies. Your full weather forecast is coming up. This update brought to you by John's Mobile Home Parts and Accessories in Oriskany Falls. For all your mobile home needs, it's worth the trip. Visit johnsmobilehomeparts.com for more information. And I, IBEW NECA 43 local contract. Another potentially messy storm is closing in on the area and folks are being urged to take steps now to prepare. Heavy snow may fall in some places in the coming days and there are concerns hours of rainfall might trigger severe flooding. Strong wind gusts could also lead to power outages and plunge thousands of people into the dark. Travel is expected to be difficult and drivers should plan accordingly. For the latest alerts and forecasts, you can head to NOAA. NOAA.gov. The Oneida County Sheriff's Office is taking action to help Hyundai and Kia owners protect their vehicles from being stolen. The agency is offering free wheel locks tomorrow from 3 p.m. until 6 p.m. in front of the Oneida County Public Safety Complex, which is located in Oriskany. The devices will be available only on a first come, first served basis. Hyundai's and Kia's are often targeted by thieves due to security flaws that make them easy to take. You know, I just want to say my wife has um, some of those vehicles, by the way, are high end luxury vehicles. Oh, yeah. If you get so the, uh, my wife has one, which is a little bit older and uh, um, I think it's like 2014 or 15. Yeah. But there's a recall on that right now where it says do not park it near your house or in the garage. 
because at any pump moment, even when it's not start story, UPD was warning people about that, uh, gosh, a little over a month ago, and now the United County Sheriff's Office offering those wheel locks. Voters across New York State will be heading to the polls today to cast ballots in the 2024 presidential primary. Both Biden and Trump have already earned enough support to be the nominee of their respective party this November. The state attorney general's office says its election protection hotline will be up and running, and it can be reached at 866-390-2992. To find out more information about polling hours and locations, contact your local board of elections. And millions of Americans will be able to file their taxes using the IRS's new free online filing program. That's according to an IRS estimate. 19 million, or nearly 12% of all individually filed tax returns, can be processed for free online. Commissioner Danny Werfel said in a video released over the weekend that taxpayers across 12 states will be able to file using the program for the first time ever. The IRS previously said it expected much fewer Americans to be eligible for the program, only hundreds of thousands compared to 19 million. It is 7.08. Your weather forecast is brought to you by Shopping the Lucky Triple Bonus Sale at Carl's Furniture for triple the savings. On now at Carl's Wholesale Furniture Warehouse and the New Hartford Shopping Center. Here's the latest from the WIBX Weather Center. I'm Mike Johnson. Snow showers will change to rain today, high 45. Showers this evening becoming steady overnight, low 38. Wednesday, a potential winter storm, heavy rain or snow, high 41. Winter storm watch Wednesday night, heavy rain or snow, low 33. Thursday and Friday, a winter storm watch, more snow possible. Possible significant accumulations over three days, depending on temperature, rain or snow. That's the latest. I'm Mike Johnson for WIBX. Right now, we're at 39 degrees under cloudy skies at 7.09. Sports brought to you by IBEW NECA 43, local contractors. One of the stars of the Syracuse University men's basketball team has decided to enter the NCAA transfer portal. Sophomore forward Malik Brown is planning to leave the Orange after his sophomore season that saw him average over nine points and more than seven rebounds per game. Brown also led the ACC with 71 steals in 32 games. In a statement, Brown thanked everyone at SU who helped him during his time at the school. Meanwhile, the Mets are still searching for their first win of the season after being shut out by the Detroit Tigers 5-0 in 10 innings at Citi Field. Sean Manea started for the Mets and struck out eight batters while allowing only one hit over six scoreless innings. Michael Tonkin was charged with the loss after allowing five unearned runs over an inning of relief. New York is now 0-4 and hopes to even the series at one game apiece later tonight. The Yankees, meanwhile, they continue to be dominant. They're undefeated after topping the Arizona Diamondbacks 5-2 in their series opener at Chase Field. Luis Hale uh, got the start and struck out six while allowing one run over four and two-thirds inning. Luke Weaver picked up his second win of this season after allowing one run over two and a third inning of relief. Anthony Volpe was on fire leading the way at the plate after going four for four with a run batted in. He and Oswaldo Cabrera and Juan Soto all off to a huge offensive start this season. New York is now leading the AL East at 5-0. and oh and will look to win their series against the Diamondbacks tonight. UConn eliminated USC from the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament after topping the Trojans 80-73 to in the Elite Eight. The Huskies will face Iowa on Friday in the Final Four. Caitlin Clark scored 41 points to lead the Hawkeyes to a 94-87 victory over the defending national champion LSU Tigers. Meanwhile, the Rangers were unable to extend their winning streak to six games after falling to the Penguins 5-2 at Madison Square Garden. The Islanders wrapped up their three-game road trip with a 4-3 win in overtime against the Flyers. And the Knicks have changed OG Anunoby's injury designation from injury management to right elbow tendinopathy, otherwise known as tennis elbow. Anunoby has missed seven games since last playing against the Kings on March 16th. The Knicks will look to snap their two-game skid. When they visit the Miami Heat tonight, New York is fourth in the Eastern Conference at 44 and 30. And the IIHF will soon be underway. The big women's tournament coming to the Adirondack Bank Center 
The Team USA women arrived at the Turning Stone Resort Casino yesterday, and you can see photos and a recap of their arrival on our website, WIBX950.com. WIBX950 News Time is 712. All right, we have a bunch to get to coming up uh, this hour. Hobika's free money question of the day. I believe, Davey, we're talking $200 today, right? Is that what we're looking at? No, $100. Okay. All right. Sorry, I stand corrected. $200 today from the Hobika <laughs> Law Firm. We'll give you a chance to win that coming up at about 35 about 735 this morning. We'll give you that opportunity to uh, to win uh, coming up here. Uh, hold tight. Um, also, Dr. Kent Hall is coming up in a second. And Assemblyman uh, Robert Smullen uh, says he's voting no on the budget bill in, uh, in Albany. All of that coming up at WIBX. Look. Yep, a top 100 restaurant in the country now firing up pancakes, breakfast sandwiches, biscuits and gravy, and so much more. Taylor and the Cook at 311 Main Street has brunch every Sunday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Mimosas, bloodies, and of course, our perfect twist on everything. Sit by the fire, up at the bar, or on the terrace with your friends. Check out the full brunch menu at taylorandthecook.com. Keep your income tax return. You worked hard for it. At Mattress Express, we're not only going to pay the sales tax for you, but qualified customers get zero down and up to five years interest-free on select luxury king and queen sets like the Smart Bed by Instant Comfort, Posh and Lavish, and more. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit us for our lawn and garden open house at Canastota on April 6th, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're the power, the power equipment, white spawn supply. You can host the best backyard barbecue. When you find a professional on Angie to make your backyard the best around. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Inside to outside. Repairs to renovations. Get started on the Angie app or visit Angie.com today. You can do this when you Angie that. Replacing your roof isn't a decision you take lightly. You want industry standards met with affordable options and a crew who knows how important a sound roof is to you and your family. That is Spadula & Sons Roofing is your hometown roofers with deep roots in our community. Spadula Roofers specialize in residential roofing projects. They're a GAF certified master elite roofing contractor who keeps their standards above the rest. Call 315-733-1564 to find out more about their roofs for troops mail-in rebate. That is Spadula & Sons Roofing, your hometown roofers. Unica's first cannabis dispensary is local, licensed, and now open to all. Exit 31 Exotic is your home for edibles, flour, vapes, and all your cannabis needs. Visit Exit 31 Exotic at 255 Genesee Street or online at uticacannabisco.com. For use only by adults 21 years of age or older, keep out of reach of children and pets. In case of accidental ingestion or overconsumption, contact the National Poison Control Center hotline 1-800-222-1222 or call 911. Please consume responsibly. License number OCMCAURD 240076. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio.
Whitesboro Central School District is looking for bus drivers to join their team. Whitesboro is a leading school system in Central New York. With seven schools, 3,100 students, and holding a 92% graduation rate, you can help drive our students' success. When you drive for Whitesboro, you get great benefits, a flexible schedule, and summers off. Perfect for retirees with extra time. Help drive our future leaders with Whitesboro Central School Transportation. Call Andy at 315-768-9740 or stop by the garage, 20 Wood Road, Whitesboro. You want to recycle, but you're not sure what's recyclable, what goes in your weekly recycling bin, or what goes in the trash. Wheel Lock Disposal Service, your recycling experts, wants to give you some helpful tips in determining what waste goes where. Let's talk metal, such as cans used for soup, vegetables, sauce, various pet food, and soda, along with metal lids, all can go in your weekly recycling bin. Plus, aluminum foil and empty aerosol cans, too. For more information, go to wheellockdisposal.com. Your recycling experts. Attention business owners, stop throwing your hard-earned money away on rent. Imagine owning your own building and saving thousands every year. Sound impossible? Not if you use General Steel. General Steel can help you save thousands by owning your own custom-designed building. Call 1-866-74-STEEL. That's 1-866-74-STEEL to see how much money you can save with General Steel. Our buildings come with a 50-year warranty and thousands of companies from Fortune 500 corporations to startups have trusted the general with their building needs. If you need to expand or start a new business, you really need General Steel. I'm very impressed with General Steel. Everyone's been extremely helpful. I'd recommend General Steel to anyone looking to build a steel building. Call 1-866-74-STEEL to find out how quickly your business can move into one of our quick construction kits, like a 50 by 100 perfect for the small business owner or a 200 by 450 favorite of the Fortune 500. Just call 1-866-74-STEEL. That's 1-866-74-STEEL. Tequila. X950 and 106.9 FM. The Keeler Show. I know this is uh, something to think about, but today is primary day. Woo-hoo. So you would be. Uh, uh, voting goes on today from 6 a.m. until 9 p.m. tonight. Yeah. And uh, you can go to your. Uh, go to your. Uh, Favorite polling place. Uh, well, not necessarily. Not ne- yeah, right. You, yeah. Your favorite board of election. Go to your board of elections, and it'll tell you where you can vote. There are only a uh, few locations uh, where you're able to uh, where you're able to vote. Like I think in Herkimer County, there might be one, which is a problem. What if you're uh, in you're up north, and you want to vote? You got to come all the way down. You'll do what you that. need to do to, look that, to look, cast your vote. No one's going to even vote in this thing because it's all over with. Our our vote means absolutely nothing. Bill, don't say that. We're a yeah. democracy here. Uh, Rob says that a one to three is a big storm, question mark. Bill Cardis is pretty good. Most of the rain falls before the cold. There's more of a potential of people getting stranded after the eclipse than in this one <laughs> to three storm fear monger. Um, your parents might get 6 to 12. My parents live on a hill. Uh, the difference between this storm and last week is cold air was already in place. We now have warmer air in place, so it takes a little lar- longer to cool the snow in the valley. Mm-hmm. Um, I say I agree, but if the cold does reach its way down uh, below that throughway line, it seems like that's the imaginary line for us, um, it would be snow. And um, you're talking about... Probably three inches of precipitation, which would be a lot of snow. He yeah. says, none of my three apps say that will happen. I'm going with this in addition to 12 years of plowing. And Richard, not Richard. I'm, I'm saying not Richard. He's not going with Richard. Right. He's, yeah, he's not Richard, That's but he's, he's also saying. not going with Richard. Okay. Um, I'm saying I think this could go either way. Um, but I would agree I'm going to tell you this. I would agree that I think it, the chances of it going with heavy snow are lower than the chances of it having rain. Having rain and mixed precipitation. But one thing you should keep your eye on is the potential of ice, the potential of uh, heavy ice and snow on tree limbs and on the power lines. That could be something. That could cause a problem. 
Yes. So just be aware. So can the t- continuance of upper respiratory infection. That is true. Uh, I'm not ready for that transition yet, oh, however. Oh, sorry. sorry. Uh, hey, Andrew, fish update. Uh, John, this is John, one fish, 12-incher. And I have pictures. Uh, John and Bridgewater, yes, is, fish, is fishing season begun? Yeah, it yesterday. It always starts on April 1st. And, mm. uh, so yes- Wayne and John yeah. and everybody were out. Yesterday I was out driving, saw a lot of people along the creeks and that sort of thing uh, getting their fishing in yesterday. Uh, Dick and Deerfield cicadas will not be an issue in this part of the country. I, I believe that is true. Um, they list seven states, none of them in the Northeast, that will be affected. Um, uh, I believe that's true. I, if I read that <laughs> implying that we were going to have that problem, although we will hear you will hear them. Yeah. Um, like you do every year. Um, we're not going to have the trillions that they'll be dealing with in other parts, warmer climates around the uh, around the country. So I believe. Is there anything else I want to get to here this morning? Um, and then this uh, potential storm. Either way, we're going to get a lot of rain. And, uh, you know, it's funny how school kids, parents, and teachers are all hoping for no snow day no, this they week. Want, yeah, they want their snow days designated. Because right now they've already designated them to most of them and placed them in uh, right around Memorial Day. And here's the other thing. In the, if you're in the Valley, your school is on spring break. <laughs> uh, up here in Oneida County, the school's are not on uh, spring break. Their spring break comes, I think, the week of the 21st. Okay? I believe I got everything in there on the line right now is the one and only Dr. Kent Hall. What you don't want is upper respiratory infection. Doc, good morning. <laughs> Wonderful transition, Andrew. Thank you. I've been working on it all morning. Yeah. Good morning, Doc. <laughs> good morning. How you doing this morning? <laughs> uh, wonderful. Um, it kind of is like the, the whole, um, I don't know, the, the worry about when somebody comes out to say, uh, and expect this to be the worst COVID season of all. Um, everything's got to be taken with a grain of salt, right? Yeah, these are all these are all you know estimates, and uh, you know I I have a lot of empathy for for uh, meteorologists and weather folks because you know it, there there are so many variables that can go sideways. So you know what you just I I uh, I, I live by the dictum. You know, uh, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Yeah, uh, I like it. And we will, and you know, then in four days we'll know exactly what happened, and and then we'll go on. So, so I want to do. Uh, we'll touch base on a little bit of uh, of of health stuff here this mor- this morning. But uh, before we got to that, I did want to, um, as a uh, as now a retired physician, um, uh, uh, you're taking up some of the uh, some of the things that. You enjoy doing, and uh, you could have been in a completely different profession, maybe as a photographer. And uh, I'm wondering, with the upcoming eclipse, are you making any plans to try to capture an amazing photo? So, in fact, I am. In fact, I've been looking around. I've been following the weather, you know, the potential weather uh, in a whole bunch of different places, um, mostly up in the Adirondacks. Uh, to see where would be a good place to go. And I can tell you that two weeks ago, it looked like it wasn't going to be good anywhere because they were forecasting clouds and rain everywhere. And, you know, just in the last three or four days, it's gone to the point where really on Monday across the across the Adirondacks, they're, they're looking at partly cloudy and sunny, which is great. Yeah. So I've been looking yeah. at what is the weather like in um, uh, Saranac Lake and Lake Placid and Tupper Lake. Uh, and in Lowville to, because what I want to do is, sorry, you've, 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 you've got me going. You, yeah, you may really I knew I would, this. I knew I would. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but, but when you, when you capture the eclipse and you do it as a time lapse, then what you want to do is you want to have a good foreground too, to make it interesting, you know, whether it's a waterfall or, you know, something. So, uh, I've been looking around what would be good, good places to go. And from my understanding from, you know, looking on the, looking on the different town websites, all of the towns that I just mentioned are expecting a huge influx in the number of uh, people yeah, um, yeah. going just for the uh, eclipse. So, you know, um, so, so we'll see. <laughs> I, I got to tell you that um, uh, if, if we ever do get the, uh, the uh, attack of the aliens, 
my guess is they'll probably put us all in their version of a zoo, and <laughs> people will come each day, and they won't understand our language, and, and, and they'll be taking pictures of us. There are some weird people out there, Doc, like some <laughs> really weirdos. And I think that instead of shooting the eclipse, you might be better served trying to shoot some of these weird people. Yeah, you know, it, it'd be interesting. And, you know, given the fact that, you know, the, the eclipse, you know, the totality only lasts for like, you know, two or three minutes. But the total eclipse from start to end lasts like four hours. And so the, you know, what, what will also be fun is to take pictures of people who are taking pictures of the yeah, eclipse. Yeah, <laughs> yes, you're right. Yeah. And the ones who think they know and don't know, it's kind of like when you go to the to the dump in the North Country. And uh, and you see some father coming out with his little baby and saying, look, this is a bear. And, you know, coming in close contact with the bear. You're just sitting there like, what are you doing? You're going to you could die doing this, but you can't take your eyes off it. That's yeah. the. Uh, yeah. Because um, especially with you, Doc, I mean, you'd have to put your camera down and have to maybe come in and and handle things medically i mean a bear can cause some real damage yeah now that you're retired do you do you suspend the hippocratic oath for the photographer's oath to get the best possible picture i i mean it's a good that's point really a dilemma. i'll take care of you <laughs> right as soon as i get this good photo <laughs> just stay alive no, long I, enough <laughs> no i i will tell you that i i am a doctor and i will be a doctor until the day that i die okay that, that will be my first and foremost oh that's all good right. to hear all right well <laughs> Apparently you haven't gotten the TikTok bug because it's out there. <laughs> um, all right. So with all of this said, it is quite interesting. So one of the questions. So next hour we have uh, two scientists coming in from SUNY Poly who are going to go through the, the whole uh, what makes this special, what makes it unique. Here's a question. So I've already taken some questions. So you can through the app, through uh, YouTube this morning, if you're watching live there. You could call in. You could message us any way you can find out how to do it. Um, and we'll ask your question. Or you can call in while the, the, the uh, scientists are on. But one of the questions, what makes this one so different? Why is, it this, being, why is this one such a big deal? And, Doc, I, and maybe you know the answer to this, but I kind of have a feeling the reason this one is so big is because... Um, it the the path comes across such major uh, metropolitan areas and and states and high population areas. It seems to be hitting a lot of people. Does that make sense? Do you think that's the reason? <coughs> yeah, I think you're exactly right there. It's really the path of totality that, that yeah. makes this really interesting. I will tell you that people in in Europe and stuff they like you know they're not going to see anything. I mean, right, it, it right. isn't even going to affect them so they're you know so but we you know basically the the line starts in mexico goes through um uh texas and up through the midwest and then you know covers a fair amount of new york it goes through buffalo and rochester and watertown and you know and we are uh, utica is just outside of it rome actually is right on the cusp and then places like lee a little bit further to the north are are going to have like uh, a couple minutes of of uh, totality and it's really the totality that that is so um interesting and yeah. and, the, and the people are really want to be uh in that path because they they uh, want to see it so i was in new york city in 2017 for that eclipse it yeah. was not to totality there but it was pretty interesting i was yeah. in central park kind of watching and you know watching the uh, the the darkness kind of come on and stuff and then and then go go away it was it was re really cool so i'm i am anticipating that this is going to be a really interesting time um i will say so again i'm a doctor and what i will say is um you need to not be looking directly at the sun unless you've got the the appropriate um eyewear you know which is not expensive to to get but is absolutely a necessity once you hit totality then you do not need any special eyewear to look at it because oh, I the didn't know amount that. of the amount of ultraviolet radiation is has been uh, cut down because of the totality. Uh, 
as long as you're in that path of uh, totality. Right. So if you're here, again, what's yeah. It? If you're here, you're but not getting what, complete totality. Then. Right. Correct. And yeah. so in, in in Utica, you should be when you're looking at the sun, you should be wearing those 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 glasses yeah. that 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 protective eyewear all, all the time. So um, there's an article on our, our website, uh, wibx950.com, where Sheriff Mayshield shares some guidance on the whole day's event. And he's saying that the that, that certain glasses to be permitted are the ISO certified, and then there's some serial numbers. You can get them on the website. But there's a lot of, like, places that are just kind of selling random glasses. I yeah, wonder yeah. what the safety value of those are compared to the actual ones you can, can get online. Yeah, so that's a good point, Andrew. And the and the and the reality is, you don't know what the uh, safety uh, pro- profile is. So you really need to get glasses. And again, they they aren't expensive. I can tell you that I went on uh, a website and bought some, uh, and and I got five glasses. Now they're you know they're made out of the the glass part is made out of yeah. cardboard. But yeah. The, but the 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 part that you see through is is the ISO certified. And I got five of them for like you know ten dollars. So they're oh, not yeah, expensive. Oh yeah, wow. Um, interesting. Mike here this morning says had no luck finding the eclipse glasses around here. I found them at the Mohawk Valley Visitor Center on the thruway. Oh, there you go. So you can find them. Uh, you can find them there. Um, I do wonder too. We are in a world where people don't trust um, science today. So there will be some people out there probably been. I don't think this man. I can look right at it. These people are blowing this out of proportion. Uh, if you do that, you you can, and and if you look at it long enough, you Darwinism, will. You natural will, selection. It is kind of. You yeah. will damage your eyes, right? Yeah, you will damage your retina, and you will, you know, have significant. Uh, depending upon how long you look at it, then yeah. you 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 run. You run the risk of having significant damage to your uh, eyesight, which will not be correctable. It is permanent. So you really need to be careful about that. Uh, my son was in Colorado in 2017 when the eclipse hit. They were in a, uh, an area of totality. Um, so, and it's really not quite exactly total, right? It's not 100%. It's like, what, 98 or 99%? Um, because there is that little ring that comes around that you'll be able to mm-hmm. to uh, to see, but um, as you say, not enough to damage the eyes if you're in that that area that that line of totality. Yeah, so it is. So so you will see a little um, a little lightness around. It's called the penumbra that that you can see around. Uh, but it it does completely block out the sun. Yeah. And and you know some of the things that 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 you can expect are the for those you know two or three minutes depending upon where where you are. Uh, like the temperature is going to drop significantly. You know you you you're talking upwards of you know ten fifteen twenty degrees of of um, of temperature drop. That's the craziest um, part to me. That's inter- very interesting. Yeah, well, and, it shows then, you uh, the, the power of the sun, and uh, how much we, you know, it warms things up on a sunny day versus a, a really cloudy day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, uh, Doc, and you know, get your flu shot. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just figured this was a uh, a, a little uh, a little path away from the norm. And again, it shows uh, something that you're very, very interested in. And I, I had assumed, being a science person, had done a lot of research on this and and had some real insight. And we're looking forward to next Monday. Yeah, no, I, I, I really am. And you know, hopefully, hopefully things pan out. But if they don't, it'll still be an experience. So. It will be. There's no doubt. <laughs> All right, uh, Doc. Thank you. Have a wonderful week. And we'll talk to you uh, about the pictures you get. Maybe even we'll be able to see a couple of them next week. Sounds good. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Doctor. <laughs> Take care now. Have a great day. All right, day. Doc. Bye, Doctor Kent Hall. And for the first time ever, we haven't talked a bit about medicine. Yeah, it was kind of yeah. nice. Yeah. Well, um, we got to hear a little bit. Of, see, this is the good thing about retired Doctor Hall. We're yeah. getting his interests and uh, learning about his other uh, areas of expertise. Well, uh, just the fact that uh, we've seen some of his his photography and it's brilliant. Yeah, um, very, very good. I guess it kind of reminds me of uh, 
when you'd see a a retired NFL player or a retired Major League Baseball player play golf, and you're like, um, oh, my God, I thought this was going to be fun. But instead, they're like driving the ball so far. <laughs> it's it, it, Clearly, they're an elite athlete. Like yeah. John Smoltz. Yeah, like but they're the, great the best golfers. golfers. The best golfers, they say, are uh, former and current hockey players. Really? I didn't Very know Very similar swing. Oh, interesting. Well, either way, an elite athlete. But yes, is, you're right. That's my point, is an elite athlete. And if you're, you know, if you, if you have the smarts to be able to become a physician, then chances are they, you utilize your brain in some other different areas. And I believe in photography, Dr. Hall does, and that's where I was going with that. So take it for what it's worth. But, Josh, I will get the answer to your question from the scientists coming up. What makes this one so big? Why is this one such a big deal? Why is everybody going nuts over this one? Because it does kind of feel that way. All right. This morning, Davey, we're giving away... $100. $200. $200 on the line. Caller number what? 206. Uh, Caller number 206. Wow. That's going to take us a while. No. Caller six. Caller six. (laughs) The sixth caller through the lines right now. Three one. Now this is a special number, so just don't call our old number. It'll be two weeks before we're back in the old studio, which will be brand new when we're done. Three one five seven two three three eight two four is the number. Three one five seven two three three eight two four. Caller six. Our question, giving you a shot, is next on WIBX. My car needs an oil change. My car won't start. I hit a deer. I need a car wash. Hi, my name is Brooke Wallen. My dad has definitely heard this and more from his three daughters. Here at Clinton Auto Service and Clinton's Car Wash, we strive to care for our customers like family. Need an oil change? Inspection? Schedule an appointment today as we do it all and treat our customers as family. Family owned and operated for over 60 years and always will be. Caring for your ride with hometown pride. Don't forget to stop by Clinton's Car Wash and get your car shiny and clean for summer. Join our unlimited plan starting at just $19.99. Our touch-free automatics are open 24-7 and we're the only car wash around with a soft cloth tunnel. Did I mention it's open seven days a week from 7 to 6? Our attendants even towel dry your car after every wash. Sign up for our unlimited plan today. Clinton Auto Service and Car Wash are located on State Route 12B in Clinton. Caring for your ride with hometown pride. Dog parents are loving Dr. Marty's Nature's Blend Premium Dog Food. The way she acts and the way she moves, it's just so much better. And she actually, she's like a puppy again. It's unbelievable. Dr. Marty's Nature's Blend is a freeze-dried raw food made with zero artificial preservatives. So it's naturally shelf-stable with no mess, freezer, or fridge required. Plus, it's full of premium turkey, beef, salmon, and meat your dog will love. We started with Nature's Blend. She's happy. She sleeps well. She's energetic. I am just delighted with this product. When given the choice, Nature's Blend and Amazon's number one bestseller in dry dog food, 29 out of 30 dogs chose Nature's Blend first. I am so confident your dog will love it. Your order is backed with a 90-day guarantee. Save up to 54% off Nature's Blend and get a free bag of delicious beef liver treats. Go to drmartypets.com slash deal or text deal to 511-511. Text deal to 511-511. All pets are unique. Your pet's results can and will vary. Message and data rates may apply. Studies available upon request. What's holding you back from learning the language you've always wanted to speak? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's lessons take just 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes isn't long. Nope. And they're fun. Fun isn't hard. Right. Babbel's interactive lessons, podcasts, games, and more make languages fun and engaging. You might even forget you're learning. And Babbel's lessons are built around real life. Babbel teaches language skills you'll actually use about travel, business, relationships, and more. You'll learn what matters most to you. Plus, Babbel's lessons are designed to get you having real conversations in as little as three weeks. Just three weeks? Even better. Since Babbel's lessons are voiced by real native speakers, you'll get pronunciation just right and be able to carry on conversations with confidence. Learning a language with Babbel doesn't take long. And with Babbel, it isn't hard. It's It's perfect. perfect. Get Babbel. It starts here. Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. 
Ferris Commercial Mowers set the bar with racing-inspired patented full suspension and integrated cutting decks so you can go faster, cut better, and not get beat up. Ferris Experience Suspension. Take advantage of the best financing and prices of the year. Visit us for our lawn and garden open house at Canastota on April 6th, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Be the power in power equipment. White Farm Supply. Brunch at Babes is the only way to spend your weekend. Bottomless mimosas, Bloody Mary flights, classic breakfasts, and some new instant classics. Boozy Brunch at Babes Saturday and Sundays from 9 to 2. Breakfast quesadillas, loaded avocado toast. Babes is open seven days a week for lunch and dinner with Boozy Brunch every Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Visit us at BabesUtica.com. Take my way straight to Babes. WIBX 950 online at WIBX950.com. All right, you got to stop that, or YouTube will go nuts and shut us off. It'll be terrible. Uh, copyright issues everywhere you turn. It's unbelievable. Did we lose our caller? No, we did not. But I just got to get. Okay. All right. All right. It's time to do Hobika's free money question of the day. And here this morning, it is it is an opportunity for Hobika to give away, as we said, Davey, how much money? 200 He's agreed now. We're at $200. I just wanted to make that completely official for Tim in New York Mills, who's ready to take a uh, shot here. Tim, good morning. Thanks for coming on. And. What's up for today, Tim? Good morning. Same old, same old. Good morning, Bill. Same old, same old. I completely get that. Uh, which is what we went with, by the way, when we decided, hey, let's let's kind of stay here in the studio and, and not move everything around. We'll be here for another two weeks. It's uh, hard to believe, but then... We'll be back in our uh, back in the brand new studio. All right, you know the way this works from Hobika. We, we give you seven seconds. You got to get your answer in with seven seconds before the border the the uh, the buzzer goes off. And one answer. Pick your answer and make it happen. Are you ready? Uh, yes, sir. This comes from the category. Yep, we talked about that. And here <laughs> we go. Here is your question. Here it is. Grandmother song and Let's Get Small are top 100 hits by this artist. Ready, go. Huey, Huey, Huey Lewis. Huey, you're going to go with Huey Lewis and the News. Great group. Uh, anybody on this? Grandmother song and Let's Get Small. Grandmother's song and let's get small. Davy is going to take a guess. Steve Martin. You're correct. You knew that. Wow. Yeah. He was listening earlier. Uh, Steve Martin had uh, three hits on the Billboard charts: Grandmother, ta- Grandmother song, Let's Get Small, and uh, do you remember Tim? What the third one was? That was the big one. That uh, was King Tut. Oh, yeah, yeah, the 70s. Yeah, 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 all in the 70s. Um, So, yeah. All right, well, listen, we're going to give you, and this is perfect now with everything going on at the Odd. The All-in-One Food and Fun card is a $25 gift card. Good at any of the uh, concession stands at the Adirondack Bank Center or Nexus at Taylor and the Cook, over at Aqua Vino, Cookies Q and Creamery, 72 Tavern and Grill. And the list goes on, so stand by, and I believe... um, uh, Davey's going to work it. Do you know how to do this, what you're going to do? All right, you guys have it all worked out. So, Tim, thank you. All right, thank you, Bill. Have a good day. Have a great day. Thanks, man. Uh, Tim will uh, receive that $25 gift card. Uh, the beauty is around here, you don't uh, you don't ever lose. You always win something. 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 All right, um, on the line right now is Assemblyman Robert Smullen. Assemblyman, good morning. Hey, good morning, Bill. Good morning, Andrew. How are you guys this morning? Good morning. We're doing, uh, doing well. Thank you so much for uh, for coming on. And I wanted to, to ask you about uh, your decision to not just not vote uh, on this budget bill, uh, for this budget bill, but to ve- vehemently vote against it. Uh, what's your thinking here? 
Well, the debt service bill is something that we have to do first thing in the budget process in New York. We're, we're in the budget process. It's already late. It's April 2nd. The budget is supposed to be done, you know, by April 1st. Uh, they're in the negotiation process for how much it's going to be. But one of the key things is, is to actually to pay New York's debt service bills, which comes along every year. New York has outstanding debt, and it has to be serviced uh, by the state. Uh, but unfortunately, what we've done is we've really raised the amount of debt that we had, and the projections in the future are so egregious that I had to I had to make a statement about this. About we are headed in the wrong direction as the amount of debt that New York State is getting into, and what we're going to have to pay back. I, I, I'll ask you: <clears throat> Do you feel that uh, knowing that with the uh, the fact that the de- the governor has a, uh, a Democratic majority, supermajority in New York State, in the Senate and the Assembly, that, uh, you know, this is going to pass uh, because obviously if it didn't pass, we would fall short on our debts. That would be a real problem. Uh, has that Does that play a role? So this is more of a statement saying enough is enough. Um, uh, how, do you, how do you explain that? Well, it is a statement to say, that we shouldn't be fiscally and financially irresponsible with New York taxpayers' funds. You know, this budget this year, uh, the governor's budget came in at $233 billion. That was an increase over last year. Even just since I've been in the Assembly since 2019, the budget then was was only, and I say this, only $170 billion. So our budgets are way up. Well, the Assembly and the Senate, the state Senate, had to add $13 $13 billion more to the governor's plan. Yeah. So our budget is going to come in somewhere just short of $250 billion from New York State. Wow. That's unsustainable in the long term. Uh, our revenues aren't going to keep up. And certainly, now that we're not paying our debt down, that debt load is only going to add to those financial struggles in the out years. Uh, it is amazing. the, uh, the And I, I almost feel that during covid there was so much money being thrown around from the federal government that I, I think we we became uh, uh, comfortable with, well, there's always going to be money flowing in to make up the difference. Well, the, the problem is, is for taxpayers, is that's somebody's money. You know, yeah, yeah. the money comes from the federal government, from the state government, or from the local government. They, it ultimately comes from grandma's tax dollar. There's no way around it. So just because we're getting money, unfortunately, that was printed in this administration, you know, $2 trillion, that's why we're having this inflation that we're having. Uh, This money was printed in ad money supply. Bad decision at the wrong time. And now we're struggling to make this, you know, so-called soft landing with the economy so we don't go into recession. Yeah. Uh, Why did we have to borrow it to begin with? We shouldn't even have to make a landing. It's, uh, it's It's a clear mistake. On the, on, on the part of the Biden administration. And now, unfortunately, in New York, we're doubling down on it by increasing spending well beyond inflationary numbers, you know, since 2018. So it's a big mistake. It's going to come back. The bill's going to come due, and the taxpayers are going to be stuck with it. Have you given thought to where do you cut? I, I do, actually. You know, so this has to be uh, across the board uh, so we can really make ourselves in New York have a soft landing yeah. from the amount of spending. We don't have a revenue problem in New York. We have a spending problem. When it when it doesn't match up, you have to find other ways to get money. And, and a couple of the things that I'd point out uh, that are, are coming down the pike, the first one is, is this so-called cap and invest scheme to go towards the green electrification of the economy. It's a tax by any other name. It's also going to re, uh, cause electricity rates to go up in New York State. People listening out there, pay attention to your electric bill because it's going to go up more than the cost of inflation to be able to pay for this forced electrification of upstate New York. It's, that's a very bad policy decision you know, coming out of the Climate Action Council. The other thing that's been proposed is what's called a stock transfer tax. You know, New York is the financial mm-hmm. center of the world, New York City. And we want to keep it that way. But what they're proposing is to tax every transaction that goes through New York's financial uh, center. What's wow. that what's it do? All it's going to do is drive these firms into other low-cost states. Already, you know, firms like Goldman Sachs, 
Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, they're moving to places like Florida, West Palm Beach, into Texas, like Dallas, because it's a welcoming business climate. Yeah. If if uh, if they choose to to tax each stock transaction, which seems like a small thing, you know, these firms are going to move elsewhere. It's a very very short sighted decision. And you know, Assemblyman Smolin, in my industry, you deal with a transfer tax on real estate, and it's something along the well, not something. It is four dollars for every thousand you sell your home for. So I can imagine with some of these larger trades. Um, and them already not being, you know, huge fans of Wall Street and corporate America, it, you know, it could be something higher than that. Maybe ten dollars for every hundred, ten dollars for every thousand. Uh, that could really add up quickly. Yeah, wh- whatever it is, you know, we decided to put this tax that was, you know, based on old obsolete technology. It was based on paper transactions that were done, you know, a hundred years ago. We put it in a band fifty years ago because it really. You know, it was a t- it was basically it was a it was a punitive tax on the financial driver of New York's economy. Right, right. Now, here, we are, here we are, 50 years later. All this trading happens on servers that aren't even located in New York anymore. You know, at the flip of a switch, many of these trading uh, uh, organizations could simply move it out of New York State and avoid the tax. And that's exactly what they would do if we were so foolish as to do this. Yeah, and how would they police that even for, you know, day traders and people who use apps like TD Ameritrade and things like that? Would that be kind of built into your your platform and using your geolocation? I mean, there's a lot of questions I have for, with regard to that. You're, you're right on to it. And, you know, these trading houses, the New York Stock Exchange would instantly become the Miami Stock Exchange or the Dallas Stock Exchange. Yeah. It would be right out of state and it would no longer be subject to the tax. And trading would go on just the same way as it's been now. And New York would be the big loser. Don't you feel on the, uh, on the, for instance, the, uh, the electrification of, uh, of New York, which, you know, ultimately is a, an area where we're probably, we're going um, at some point. But the, the grid is not there yet. The technology is not there. Even companies like National Grid are saying, hey, I don't see us being even close to ready in 10 years. Um, and uh, in particular, the requirement that school buses by 3035 become all electric. Um, it almost seems like, it doesn't almost, it seems like it's impossible, and everybody knows it. That's the dirty little secret, but we're still not stopping. We're still plowing forward as if it's feasible. And, and it's really not, Bill, and that's the, right. that's the long short of it, you know, this is a matter of rural equity. Our rural school districts of the 52 counties in upstate New York, most of them are rural, and there are some city centers. These electric buses are going to cost anywhere between 8 and $15 billion from the, with the bus and the infrastructure, you know, the, the charging stations to hook them up. And the, the problem is, is that they're not suited to either the geography or the climate of upstate New York. I've introduced a bill that would allow counties – and essentially school districts within the upstate area to take a vote and to opt out of these, this thing. And that's, that's what local control means in this case. Yeah. Uh, but no, we are nowhere near uh, the speed and the uh, scope in which we are trying to do this electrification. And the electric school bus thing is just the tip of the iceberg. It's just the worst situation you could possibly have. Yeah, and, you know, uh, the temperature uh, when it's cold, um, the uh, each district has a different uh, dynamic in terms of uh, terrain. Uh, you could be in a in a very uh, a lot of hills in a certain district. Other districts could be flat. That would be much different. It would. Uh, there's just so many variations to to consider here. We are far from being close to uh, ready to do this. And and the taxpayers aren't ready either. The the thing about this is is this eight to fifteen billion dollars about 85 or 90 percent of it is going to fall on the local taxing jurisdiction, the yep. school district. People, pay attention to your school bill tax bills because they're going up whether you like it or not yep. unless this, yep. is, this is repealed or, or we're allowed to opt out. All right, and then finally, um, I struggled with this uh, knowing I was going to talk to you, but we just really want to send our wishes along on, the, on your loss. Uh, just horrific for any parent. And I can't imagine, and we just want to express our very, very sincere condolences. Well, 
Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, my wife and I are very grateful for all the thoughts and the prayers while, while our son was uh, fighting so hard in the ICU for 12 days. And we are also very grateful for their condolences and support uh, after his loss. Our, our solace now is that in the Donate Life program, uh, we were able to match five families and uh, we, we pray for those families uh, that, that, you know, that their loved one is, is, is that is successful and that uh, hopefully, you know, our son lives on uh, in those families. Well, just uh, know that you have an enormous family of people that, uh, that have your back and uh, are supporting you. And, uh, and again, our condolences. Thank you so much for coming on today. We appreciate it as always. Yep. Thanks so much. Great to be on WIBX. All right. Thanks so much. Be Jeff. well. Assemblyman uh, Robert Smullen, the fact is that uh, it is the fear that every parent, uh, every parent has. And you can prepare for that fear. Uh, I just can't imagine. I just can't imagine. That's all I can say about it. River Hills Properties is and continuing to be uh, a fast-growing real estate company in the area. And how does it happen? It's all about the services that are provided. Um, all the extra things that are done. From the very, very beginning, your listing agent is with you, learns about the property, uh, discovers all sorts of, uh, of ins and outs, whatever makes that property special for you. And Andrew certainly can attest to this. You make it your, your job to almost get into, not almost, but really you do get into the emotional aspect somebody's lived in a house for 20 years or 50 years, um, there's an emotional attachment. And that We're does, an extension of you. That does play a big role and needs to be conveyed when you're, you're trying to sell that, uh, that home. So uh, having someone, a partner, from start to finish changes everything. It helps you relieve that stress level and get the process taken care of. And that's what they do at River Hills. Your listing agent is there. Every single time the house is shown, um, there's someone there to keep an eye on the property for you, somebody there to answer questions if a prospective buyer has a question. And oftentimes, those questions could be deal breakers. Those questions could be the ones that determine whether or not somebody's going to make an offer on the property. Uh, so why wouldn't you list with River Hills? Uh, they have offices in Barneville, Little Falls, Rome, and Utica, Online, it's riverhillspropertiesllc.com. Call 315-896-1009. Nobody sells homes like River Hills. And 8 a.m. this morning, uh, Sunday morning, and 11.30 p.m., their new show, Sold in Upstate New York, hits Fox 33 TV. Check it out. The debut weekend is coming up this weekend. BX 950 Utica Row, W295 DI Utica Row, your news, talk, and sports leader, a town square media station. Killed, saving lives. I'm Chris Foster, Fox News. The Israeli government says there will be an independent investigation into the deaths of seven food aid workers in Gaza, one a Canadian American citizen. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu calls it an unintended military strike. The charity World Central Kitchen says an Israeli airstrike hit its aid convoy as it traveled along a coastal road in Gaza. Images show a van carrying the organization's logo with a charred hole on its roof. World Central Kitchen CEO says she's heartbroken and appalled. In a statement, the Israeli Defense Forces say they're trying to understand the circumstances of what they call this tragic incident. Jonathan Savage, Fox News. A gag order in former President Trump's criminal case in New York is expanded to stop him from attacking the judge's daughter online anymore. Trump's accused of falsifying business records about hush money payments to former adult film star Stormy Daniels. And he's posted now a $175 million bond to partially cover the business fraud judgment against him, preventing New York State from seizing assets before he can appeal. Florida Supreme Court upholds a six-week abortion ban in the state and approves abortion and marijuana measures to be on the ballot for Florida voters in November. The first measure would protect the right to an abortion. After the state, in back-to-back -back years, passed tougher restrictions, parents would be required to be notified before a minor could undergo the procedure. The second measure would determine whether or not to allow companies that grow and sell medical marijuana to sell it to adults over 21 for any reason. That essentially would make recreational marijuana use legal. The state had argued against placing either 
issue on the ballot for voters to decide. Kathleen Maloney, Fox News. The owners of the cargo ship that took down the Key Bridge in Baltimore in a court filing deny any fault or neglect and seek a cap of nearly $44 million for any lawsuit payouts. America's listening to Fox News. Hey guys, Donald Trump Jr. here. Let me ask you this. Does inflation feel worse than what we're being told in the news? That's because the official inflation rate doesn't tell the whole story. Since January 2021, the cost of living has increased by 17.9%. You can't get that money back. But what you can do is stop your losses today. How? By diversifying your savings into a gold IRA from my friends at Birch Gold Group. When you're done, your money will be parked in a tangible asset with a proven history. To see how it works, get your free info kit on gold IRAs by texting the word PROTECT to 989898. I trust Birch Gold. They provide an easy process to roll over your 401k or IRA into gold without losing your tax-advantaged status. So text PROTECT to 989898. That's protect to the number 989898 to get your free info kit on gold IRAs from Birch Gold. Message and data rates may apply. A federal judge in Los Angeles says no to dismissing tax charges against Hunter Biden. Attorneys for the president's son argued federal prosecutors caved to pressure from Republicans and that he had immunity from a previously negotiated plea deal. The trial is scheduled to start June 20th. There's a severe storm threat from Alabama to Ohio today. A major storm system traveling over the Mississippi, Ohio, and Tennessee River Valleys will bring dangerous conditions for millions today, including a significant risk for large, dangerous tornadoes, hurricane-force wind gusts, large hail, flooding rainfall, and quite a bit of snow, depending on where you live. Part of this energy will help develop a coastal storm later this week, bringing heavy rain, strong winds, coastal flooding, and measurable snow to the northeast. Fox Chief Meteorologist Janice Dean. One of the oldest hotels in Las Vegas closes its doors today. The iconic Tropicana Hotel and Casino has stood on the Las Vegas Strip since it opened in 1957, and today it closes its doors. It's one of only two on the Strip that date back to the 50s, and demolition is set for later this year to make way for a new Major League Baseball stadium. On Saturday, about 175 performers who'd been on stage at the Tropicana gathered at the hotel to say their final goodbyes. Fans of the Tropicana can own a piece of it. International Content Liquidations is handling the sale of the contents. Everything from guest room furniture, linens, gaming stools, and even the iconic chandelier from the Havana Club. Tanya J. Powers, Fox News. The last survivor of the Pearl Harbor bombing of the USS Arizona battleship has died at his home in California. Lou Contra was 102 years old, one of 335 surviving sailors. uh, 1,177 died on board the Arizona, about half of all Americans killed in the 1941 attack. Contra retired as a lieutenant commander serving 28 years in the Navy. I'm Chris Foster, Fox News. Good morning. WIBX 950 News Time 805. I'm Andrew Derminio. We're at 39 degrees under cloudy skies. Your full weather forecast is coming up. This update is brought to you by Shop the Lucky Triple Bonus Sale at Carl's Furniture for triple the savings on now at Carl's Wholesale Furniture Warehouse, New Hartford Shopping Center. Another potentially messy storm is closing in on the area, and folks are being urged to take steps now to prepare. Heavy snow may fall in some places, in the coming days, and there are concerns hours of rainfall may trigger severe flooding. We also have to be advised there could be possible ice jams depending on temperature swings. Strong wind gusts could also lead to power outages and plunge thousands of people into the dark. Travel is expected to be difficult, and drivers should plan accordingly. For the latest alerts and forecasts, head to NOAA, NOAA.gov. The United County Sheriff's Office is taking action to help Hyundai and Kia owners protect their vehicles from being stolen. The agency is offering free wheel locks tomorrow from 3 p.m. until 6 p.m. in front of the Oneida County Public Safety Complex in Oriskany. The devices will be available only on a first-come, first-served basis. Hyundais and Kias are often targeted by thieves due to security flaws that make them easy to take. 
Employees who work at stores in Destiny, USA, will not have to worry about missing the upcoming solar eclipse. That's because the mall will be closing down briefly between 3 p.m. and 3.30 p.m. next Monday, so workers and shoppers can go outside and view it. The eclipse is set to start in downtown Syracuse at 2.08 p.m. and end just after 4.30 p.m. About 90 seconds of totality will occur locally at 3.23 p.m. Voters across New York State will be heading to the polls today to cast ballots in the 2024 presidential primary. Both President Biden and former Trump have already earned enough support to be the nominee of their respective party this November. The state attorney general's office says their website has an election protection hotline you can check out. and That will be up and running. To find out more about poll hours and locations, you can contact your local board of elections. And a man serving time in a Stanley prison is accused of trying to hire someone to kill a prosecutor. That's Stanley, Wisconsin. Jay Conklin has been in custody since February for sexual assault charges against children. Officers say two inmates reported Conklin had asked them to kill the prosecutor who put him in prison. Law enforcement pretended to be one of the inmate's cousins on the phone to record a confession. He'll face 70 years for the new charges and will be in court in May. WIBX 950 News Time 808, your weather forecast, is brought to you by John's Mobile Home Parts and Accessories in Oriskany Falls. For all your mobile home needs, it's worth the trip. Go to johnsmobilehomeparts.com for more info. Here's the latest from the WIBX Weather Center. I'm Mike Johnson. Snow showers will change to rain today, high 45. Showers this evening becoming steady overnight, low 30. Ain't Wednesday, a potential winter storm. Heavy rain or snow, high 41. Winter storm watch Wednesday night. Heavy rain or snow, low 33. Thursday and Friday, a winter storm watch. More snow possible. Possible significant accumulations over three days, depending on temperature, rain or snow. That's the latest. I'm Mike Johnson for WIBX. Right now, we're at 38 degrees under cloudy skies. It's 8.09. In sports, one of the stars of the Syracuse University men's basketball team has decided to enter the NCAA's transfer portal. Sophomore forward Malik Brown is planning to leave the Orange after his sophomore season. That saw him average over nine points and more than seven rebounds per game. Brown also led the Atlantic Coast Conference, ACC, with 71 steals in 32 games. In a statement, Brown thanked everyone at SU who helped him during his time at the school. Meanwhile, the UConn Huskies eliminated USC from the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament. After topping the Trojans 80-73 in the Elite Eight, the Huskies will face Iowa on Friday in the Final Four. Caitlin Clark scored 41 points to lead the Hawkeyes to a 94-87 victory over the defending national champion LSU Tigers. Meanwhile, the Mets are still searching for their first win of the season after being shut out by the Tigers 5-0 in 10 innings at City Field. Sean Manea started for the Mets and struck out eight batters while allowing only one hit over six scoreless innings. Michael Tonkin was charged with the loss after allowing five unearned runs over an inning of relief in extra innings. The Yankees, meanwhile, they are on a red-hot streak. They're still undefeated after topping the Arizona Diamondbacks 5-2 in their series opener at Chase Field. New York is now leading the AL East at 5-0 and and will look to win their series against the Diamondbacks tonight. The Knicks have changed OG Ananobi's injury designation from injury management to right elbow tendinopathy, otherwise known as tennis elbow. Ananobi has missed seven games since last playing against the Kings on March 16th. The Knicks will be looking to snap their two-game skid when they visit the Miami Heat tonight. New York is fourth in the Eastern Conference at 44-30. and 30. The Islanders wrapped up their three-game road trip with a 4-3 win in overtime against the Philadelphia Flyers. Brock Nelson scored his 30th goal of the season to lift the Isles to victory. The Rangers were unable to extend their winning streak to six games after falling to the Pittsburgh Penguins 5-2 at Madison Square Garden. New York is still leading the Metro Division with 104 points. At 50-21-4, they'll host the New Jersey Devils tomorrow night. The uh, Team USA women are officially here in the county. 
for the IIHF uh, Women's Tournament that will be taking place at the Adirondack Bank Center. They uh, arrived yesterday afternoon, and you can see real nice photos, courtesy of Nancy Ford, on our website, WIBX950.com. And one more for you, the three-point line on the court at the Moda Center in Portland for the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament was wrong. The mistake was found on Sunday, and the NCAA gave NC State head coach Wes Moore and Texas head coach Vic Schaefer the option to delay the two schools' Elite Eight matchup so the court could be retaped. The coaches decided to play with the different three-point lines. No word on if it was shorter or longer. The NCAA says the vendor was at fault. I believe it was fault. shorter by about almost a foot. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. The NCAA, I guess I guess if both teams can shoot from behind that line, then it would be fair. The NCAA says the vendor was at fault, and the NCAA will open an investigation to determine how the mistake was not How do caught. you not, read you, you before, especially a game like that, how do you not, Go out and measure just, everything. Just verify. Yeah. Double, triple yeah, verify. You would think that would be I don't know. part of the official's uh, duties. You would think, Bill. Yeah. Sports brought to you by IBEW NECA 43, local contractors. So they asked a question. There was a poll out recently. And, you know, for us living up here, um, it seems like a ridiculous question. But maybe around the world it's not so ridiculous. The question was asked... Have you ever been within 10 feet of a cow? Um, I think I think I must have. Yes, yes, I have. You have to think about it that way. Yeah, because I was I think there was a couple points I was in a barn. I All was right. in Sheriff Mayshill's barn. And I was 10 Yeah, you're within 10 feet close. of a cow. Yeah. Um uh Davey, of course, most people who know, have dinner with me, they're 10 feet from a cow. Davey, your uh, your <laughs> answer to that would be Farm country, so I see cows every day. All the time, and, and I grew up around a, a farm as well. But even um, in school, don't you, you know, you go visit Farmer John, you go to the, any fair, and you're usually walking by a cow. Um, do you know the number? What do you think the number is, without looking at my screen? Here? Uh, 20%. 20% have been within 10 feet of a cow? Yes. Okay. I say 57%. 1%, Bill. 57, Davey's going with. Ding, 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 Davey's the winner. The answer is over 90% of people say they've been within 10 feet of a cow, <laughs> of a live cow. Well, if it was that many, what's the significance of the story? I don't I don't understand. I think you don't understand. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know how you don't understand. It was like, I can't believe that I don't know how 20, you, only 20% I, of Americans have been near a cow. I don't know how you don't understand the significance that means the majority of people have been close to a cow when you picked 20 percent that's the point of the story most people think yeah probably not a lot of people have been near a cow especially if you grow up in new york city right well if you've had a burger you've been close to a cow that doesn't count it's a live (laughs) cow the answer is 90 percent to me that is a i i realize you're not shocked, even though you're eighty percent off with your answer. <laughs> uh, the more I, you know. I do find that's kind of an interesting number. I would, uh, I would think, I would have thought it would be much less than that. I guess is my, my point. Uh, da, 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 da. Clearly, both of you did too. Mm-hmm. Davy at fifty-seven percent. Uh, there was the number coming up this hour. Uh, we have a bunch to get to, and that includes. Uh, we'll speak with. Um, Lieutenant Kerry Fair and Kathy Caruso involving autism awareness uh, going on right now. And then in studio, Bill Dustin and two scientists from SUNY Poly. Bill is now with SUNY Poly. Dr. Shing Chi Long is an assistant professor of physics at SUNY Poly. And Dr. Christina A. Boylan is an associate professor of history at SUNY Poly. Both ready to talk about one thing, and that is... Total eclipse in New York. The eclipse and the truth, the deal, the the scientific truth. What is and isn't going on uh, next week on Monday? And what do they think about these warnings of heavy, heavy traffic? I will tell you, speaking with my son uh, in, in Denver, he went through a what was pretty close, if not the same exact type of eclipse, a total eclipse. Um, in 2017, and he said there were traffic jams all over the city because of that, because people were coming 
to that area wow. to be able to uh, to see it. So, um, are we in for it? We'll uh, we'll speak with the the two scientists coming up in just a second uh, here this morning. Eight seventeen WIBX. Furniture and quality furniture that's sure to enhance any living space. Whether it be for your great room, your new home office, or outside patio, Adirondack Home Furniture has your style. From modern to farmhouse, rustic to transitional, handcrafted pieces that are totally customizable and are built for enduring use. Beautiful sofas and reclining furniture from Flex Steel. Designer fabrics and top brand leathers. With free local delivery and a knowledgeable staff, you'll have your dream home in no time. Adirondack Home Furniture has a large line of quality USA made furniture from top manufacturers. Our salespeople are non commissioned, which means you enjoy a relaxing, non stressful experience. So stop in today to Adirondack Home Furniture for living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, and home office. You'll find everything you need for your dream home. Adirondack Home Furniture at Riverside Center in North Utica or at AdirondackHomeFurniture.com. Create the home of your dreams with Adirondack Home Furniture. Welcome to New York's newest hospital, the Wynn Hospital. Nationally recognized programs for heart and stroke care, sophisticated and innovative treatments and intervention by renowned medical experts. All while providing education in the community to prevent disease. The Wynn Hospital, inspiring better health with a commitment to our community. This is for you. At MVHS, our team members fell in love with care long ago. Their lives were changed and their world has been expanding ever since. In respect, compassion, knowledge, and ability. And it's only just begun. Because fueling the future of care starts here at the Wynn Hospital. Local care on a whole new level. The Wynn Hospital. Unwavering commitment and compassion. Learn more at mvhealthsystem.org. This is for you. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Some stores will tell you they carry purple mattress, but they may only have two or three on the floor. Only Mattress Express has nine different purples on the floor. Stop into any Mattress Express store, try all the purples, and then we'll pull up the website and give you the same price as online. Replacing your roof isn't a decision you take lightly. You want industry standards met with affordable options and a crew who knows how important a sound roof is to you and your family. That is Spadula & Sons Roofing is your hometown roofers with deep roots in our community. Spadula Roofers specialize in residential roofing projects. They're a GAF certified master elite roofing contractor who keeps their standards above the rest. Call 315-733-1564 to find out more about their roofs for troops mail-in rebate. That is Spadula & Sons Roofing, your hometown roofers hey i got a question for you you hate bending over to put on your shoes wish you should just put them on standing or sitting without ever having to touch them if so then i have the shoe for you introducing new hands-free sketcher slip-ins with new sketcher slip-ins you just step in and off you go you don't even need to lace up so how do sketcher slip-ins work well there's a special smooth comfort pillow in the heel that helps your foot slide right into place so just step in them and go Find new hands-free Skechers slip-ins for the whole family at a Skechers store, Skechers.com, or wherever stylish footwear is sold. 
It's the spring preseason hot tub super sale going on at Liverpool Pool and Spa East Dominic Street in Rome. In stock models on sale now and it's the lowest prices of the season. Saltwater hot tubs sold by Hot Spring Spas, the number one manufacturer of hot tubs nationwide. You get instant cash rebates or 0% financing so you can start your wellness journey today. Liverpool Pool and Spa, 1501 East Dominic Street, Rome or LiverpoolPoolandSpa.com. If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navage Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navage is available online at navage.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. WIBX 950 and 106.9 FM. This is Keeler. Okay, back here in uh, in the studio at 822. Coming up, as we had mentioned, we'll speak about the solar eclipse. And there are many, 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 many questions and answers that are out there. And you wonder what's true, what is not true. And is there a uh, fear that we're going to be dealing with heavy, heavy traffic and all of that and so much more? We'll get into it uh, coming up in a second. I have a very interesting story, Andrew, on um, there's a lot of talk right now about betting in uh, in baseball or in, in, in college basketball. Yeah. So in the NBA, they're watching this player – Who's his name is John Tay Porter, and he plays for the Raptors. Okay, and uh, so I, I believe his brother plays for Denver, but he is now under investigation by the NBA following multiple instances of betting irregularities over the past several months. Interesting. The issue at issue are prop bets involving Porter from games on January twenty sixth and March twentieth. Multiple sources have told ESPN they, the, e, uh, the NBA is looking into it. In a game January 6th, here's an example against the Clippers. There was an increased betting interest on the under for Porter props, which for the night were set at around 5.5 points, 4.5 rebounds, and 1.5 assists. There was also an over-under for Porter's made three-pointers, which was 0.5. That evening, Poyer played just four minutes before leaving the game because of what the Raptors said was an aggravation of an eye injury he'd suffered four days earlier against the Grizzlies. Porter did not score against the Clippers, but had three rebounds and one assist, and he did not attempt a three-point, meaning the under hit on all the props. The next day is That's pretty specific. Uh, And where they're looking at this is... On that given day, overall, there was a huge, seemed to be a much larger than uh, an abnormally large interest in putting a bet on him, and in particular, on the under. Wow. For something so specific. Yes. All those prop, like uh, steals and rebounds. I wouldn't even think to do that. It's not like, you know, I'm going to do the. Right. Yeah, some player that barely plays. And he barely plays. The next day. And he had an eye injury that was four days ago. You know, all of a sudden, the four days Turns later, my eye hurt. There was an eye injury, and uh, it was aggravated. The next day, as part of a daily report to users on betting results, DraftKings Sportsbook stated that the under on Porter's three-pointers was the biggest money winner for bettors of any NBA player props from games that evening. Porter wow. played 19 minutes two days later, scored 12 points with seven rebounds and three assists. On March 20th against Sacramento, he played just three minutes before exiting because what the, uh, the Raptors said was an illness. He did not return. He did not score after attempting one shot and had two rebounds. Sportsbooks had his over-under set at seven and a half points and five and a half rebounds. The next day, DraftKings Sportsbook reported in the media that Porter's prop bets were the number one moneymaker from the night before. Point shaving. 
So this is a real big problem. His brother, Michael Porter Jr., plays uh, with the uh, Denver Nuggets. So this is a real this is a real wow. problem, and it's what they're talking about with the uh, with college basketball and college sports. In fact, there are those experts out there saying that prop bets altogether should be taken away from college sports. Yeah, because with 350 D1 teams, and, yeah, you know, very little known players, it's very easy to get to somebody, quote unquote. Uh, so let's keep an eye on that. And he is being investigated. Keep an eye on where it ends up going. Kind of wonder. Uh, all right. Uh, there's an autism awareness event coming up, uh, from the United County Sheriff's Department, Lieutenant Carrie Fair and Kathy Caruso on the line right now. Guys, good morning. Thanks so much for coming on. Good morning, good morning Bill. All right. And Sheriff Mashula here in the background there as well. So Sheriff, I'll start with you to give uh, introductions on, on what's happening here. Well, no, no, Bill, the sheriff's not here. It's, it's me, Lieutenant Fair. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, so much for my ability to listen and hear and identify. You would not want to <laughs> hire me for your next investigation. All right, uh, Lieutenant Fair, uh, let's talk about what is going on. So on Saturday, uh, April 6th, uh, we're having an event with uh, Better Together, Kathy Caruso and Bethany from the Calverman Center. Um, over at the Redeemer Church from 10 to 2.30. Uh, the first portion of that's going to be uh, delved into with uh, some political um, community figures that are that are important to the community. And the second part is is the part we're, we're real excited about. It's for the first responders. So we're trying to get um, as many first responders as we can to this event so that we can um, keep updated on the training and dealing with, with people with autism or intellectual disabilities. Really important because we've seen stories around the country where people who have uh, issues might not communicate or react as police officers, law enforcement would expect them to react, which has led to some tragedies. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, also with you there is Kathy Caruso. Kathy, this is uh, this is very important for you. Yes, it is. It is very important. Um, it is important that parents take time to speak with their local elected officials, or I'm sorry, the first responders to let them be introduced to their kids and what could happen in uh, the event of a crisis situation. And we wanna make sure that we get in front of that and we offer uh, these types of trainings and the Sheriff's Department has been so uh, incredibly wonderful in wanting to learn how to uh, make sure that those types of crisis situations don't happen. And they're working closely with me and also with uh, Kelberman. And I have Bethany here with me. Um, and uh, Bethany, the, if you look at the cases around the country that have occurred, oftentimes police are notified in the beginning that there's someone who has a, uh, a mental health issue, yet um, when they're untrained, it can uh, sometimes, sadly, lead to something very, very bad. Yes, very much so, which is why it's so important that we be involved in these types of initiatives. We know that there are a lot of resources available to families as well as to first responders when it comes to these different interactions. So being proactive, I think, is the key to everything and learning about those. And this is a perfect opportunity to do that. So Calverman is super proud and honored that Kathy would include us in that for this Saturday. And then, Kathy, um, I, I just want to ask you, is it something that you um, that it's beneficial to speak with if you have a, a, a child with autism? Um, is, there, is there a benefit to speaking with them and talking about communication and that sort of thing? Or, or is that not something that would be following protocol? When you say them, you mean the individual with the autism? The individuals with autism, yeah. It is, it's best to prepare them any way possible. Yeah, and I would think. Community events throughout the year that the first responders are invited to so that they can meet them face-to-face -face and understand and, and make 
a, a correlation that they are the helpers, that when there's a crisis situation, they're not there to harm you, they're there to help you. Because many times, I mean, let's face it, we don't come in contact with first responders usually unless there is a crisis. Right. But if we do those soft introductions uh, where, you know, the gentlemen are in uniform, men and women are in uniform, and they meet the individual, then they can make that connection in their mind that they're there to help. Um, and then Lieutenant Kerry uh, Fair, um, if, if you could... One of the things that does happen in smaller communities, and I would think that we would be falling in, in line with being a smaller community, is oftentimes law enforcement gets to know certain people in, in a community so that when you arrive, you may, and I'm assuming this happens in, in your law enforcement career, when you arrive, the person is someone you're somewhat familiar with. Yeah, I mean, typically we when we have crisis, we, we deal with a lot of the same people over and over again. However, I mean, we're so involved in the community bill that we try to get out to, to all these events to, uh, to try to get places. And we also have the, I mean, the yellow dot program, the ascend program, um, all aimed at, you know, trying to identify those problems uh, yeah. immediately upon arrival or, or prior to getting there. All right, one more time on uh, on times and uh, and how people can can participate. We start at ten o'clock on Saturday morning, April sixth, at Redeemer Church in North Utica. Part one: We have uh, panel experts discussing autism uh, with local agencies. The sheriff himself will be there, and also we have invited um, our guests, our, our elected officials to come for the purpose of advocacy to okay. see that things are changed and hopefully made better for outcomes for our individuals with autism and sensory disorders. All right, uh, Kathy, Bethany, and Lieutenant uh, Fair, thank you all very much and for what you're doing out there. It's very important. Thank, thank you. you. All right, have a great day, guys. You as well. Uh, Steve Pani Mazda, the new year, new Mazda sales event is going on right now. It is back, and you can drive a new 2024 Mazda CX-30 select sport model for only two ninety seven dollars a month on a 36-month lease. Or you can save with low APR financing, 0.9%, 1.9%, or 2.9% on select award-winning new 2024 Mazdas. See the dealership for details. As they say, let's make your deal on a new Mazda. As Ricky Z says... Where it's always easy to do business, Steve Pani Mazda Commercial Drive in Yorkville. Team. Whitesboro is a leading school system in central New York. With seven schools, 3,100 students, and holding a 92% graduation rate, you can help drive our students' success. When you drive for Whitesboro, you get great benefits, a flexible schedule, and summers off. Perfect for retirees with extra time. Help drive our future leaders with Whitesboro Central School Transportation. Call Andy at 315-768-9740 or stop by the garage, 20 Wood Road, Whitesboro. A flex head bed is where each head goes up and down independently, but it's still one solid mattress, and Mattress Express has the largest selection in New York State. Right now, get a queen flex head bed with adjustable base and sheets for only $14.99. Locations at MattressExpressNY.com. Sneezing, coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just I ran the rinse and I felt immediately I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. 
It's the spring preseason hot tub super sale going on at Liverpool Pool and Spa East Dominic Street in Rome. In stock models on sale now, and it's the lowest prices of the season. Saltwater hot tubs sold by Hot Spring Spas, the number one manufacturer of hot tubs nationwide. You get instant cash rebates or 0% financing so you can start your wellness journey today. Liverpool Pool and Spa, 1501 East Dominic Street, Rome, or LiverpoolPoolandSpa.com. Does it ever feel like the weather outside has found its way into your home? At Standard Heating, Cooling, and Insulating, we have nearly 100 years of experience serving our communities. Our certified consultants will help identify the problem areas and develop solutions to make your home more comfortable. New insulation, new HVAC, or both. Our team will find rebates and incentives to help lower your costs or even get it for free. Call Standard Heating, Cooling, and Insulating today at 315-859-6292. We promise to save you money. On behalf of IBEW Local 43 Union Electricians and the NECA Contractors, we are pleased to partner with Syracuse University in providing our members with an opportunity to enhance their education at this great university. Syracuse University's partnership with the IBEW will provide talented students the opportunity to advance their careers while shaping the future of the electrical trades and the industries they serve. Central New York's future is bright, and the IBEW Local 43 and NECA will continue to help light power and grow Central New York. Utica's first cannabis dispensary is local, licensed, and now open to all. Exit 31 Exotic is your home for edibles, flour, vapes, and all your cannabis needs. Visit Exit 31 Exotic at 255 Genesee Street or online at uticacannabisco.com. For use only by adults 21 years of age or older, keep out of reach of children and pets. In case of accidental ingestion or overconsumption, contact the National Poison Control Center hotline 1-800-222-1222 or call 911. Please consume responsibly. License number OCMCAURD 2400076. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ...footage of Bill Keeler doing a radio show on WIBX. Sadly, his career was found in a heavily wooded area. If you know the person or persons who ended the radio career of Bill Keeler, please tell them thanks on behalf of the people of Central New York. Now back to Keeler. Hello, I'd like to vote for president, governor, and anything that will take money away from our parks and libraries. Go vote now. It'll make you feel big and strong. WIBX 950 and 106.9 FM. The Keeler Show. So the official copy of the Keeler in the Morning Radio program is Daylight Donuts in New Hartford. And I don't know about anybody else, but we got the snowflake rolls. And they are so good for holiday dinners. Uh, and, of course, the coffee, the espresso, lattes, fresh bagels and donuts every day. I love the, uh, they have that, um, Andrew, the uh, uh, croissant. Egg and uh, bacon and cheese sandwich. Huh? Everything's better on a croissant. I think you're right. Yeah. Get a box of coffee for work, and the drive-thru is lightning fast. Daylight Donuts in New Hartford. Okay, so here we go. And in studio right now, um, I, I'll see if I have everybody's names correctly. Be nice and, and tight to the, uh, to the microphones if you can. Uh, Dr. Shing Chi Long. Yes. Am I close? Uh, yes, that's correct. Okay, good. And Dr. Christina A. Boylan. That's me. Good All morning. right. How are we doing, guys? Great. Thank you. Good morning. And let's start by talking about all the hoopla when it comes to the uh, – you guys have an event that's coming up. We'll get to that in a second. But when it comes to the eclipse, 
Um, what makes this one, whoever wants to take this, what makes this one special and different? Go ahead. Um, this one is the total solar eclipse, which happened uh, exactly lying along the all the way along the New York State. And Utica is very close to the total eclipse area. And what happened is that it only happens once per 360 years for the solar eclipse to take for place. For it happened here? Yes. Okay. So this means if we miss this, we have to wait for 360 years for the next wow. one. Wow. Which makes it precious. Now, there was one in 2017, uh, um, and, and if you're in Colorado, you got to see what was either close to or was a total eclipse. Is that the same thing just there, or is it completely different than what we're experiencing? Uh, how would you explain? The, um, okay. Uh, the sun and the moon appear to be the same size in the sky, just about, but of course the sun is much further, right, right. further away. Um, and so the moon has to pass um, in the path of the sun at the correct angle to completely obscure the sun. So it really depends on where you are on the Earth. You need to be in the right place at the right time. So as Dr. Lung said, uh, we are in the right place, just about the right at place the right at the time. right time now, and that won't happen for another 360 years. 2017, we saw a partial eclipse because we were several I hours away yeah. from the totality in Colorado. They had the total eclipse because they were in the right so place. So Colorado is experiencing what we're experiencing, did experience what we're experiencing right now. Right. At multiple locations across the United States, the path goes across right, the United right. States. So depending on the time, um, lots of people will be able to see the totality. Because we, really cool. we seem to be going a little crazy right now. Um, we're talking about traffic traffic problems and uh, do you guys feel that there's uh, that we're talking about a yeah yeah that's good do you feel that we're talking about uh, that, that we're, we're being accurate when we say traffic problems we're going to get a lot of people coming to the area or are we overblowing this a little bit well, maybe we should have brought one of our colleagues in civil engineering here right, <laughs> to help right. us out. Yeah. But but very likely there will be crowds of people, many yeah. more people than our roads are, are used to. So I definitely and want locals to plan ahead so you can take advantage of the fact that you live here. I also wonder, say. so there's a psychological mm -hmm. aspect of this as well. You could use many departments to bring them in. Mm -hmm. right, uh, right. How mm -hmm. will people react if they're driving along the thruway uh, out in western New York and all of a sudden it gets dark? Do people pull off the side of the road to see it? Do I mean there are all sorts of uh, human reactions that could uh, could pose some some problems here. I think that's what people are are most worried about. Well, I think uh, as uh, Dr. Lund can also explain, it's not like flipping a light switch that the yeah, transition yeah. will happen. You know, it will get noticeably dark, and that could be very upsetting. Um, some animals uh, keep your ears open as well as your eyes. Um, yeah, animals yeah. will mistakenly think it's night. You may hear the birds, the peepers, something like that. Um, so it may seem very strange, but it, it won't be darkness falling immediately. Uh, uh, so, yeah, folks should pull over, um, see if they can take a look safely. I didn't expect mm -hmm. it to be a switch. However, uh, when you're driving along at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and all of a sudden it's almost pitch dark, that will uh, – and, and you mentioned animals. Mm. Um, uh, animals are, are affected by this as well, and, and they certainly react. Speaking with Dr. Christina Boylan and Dr. Xing Chi Lung, um, uh, if you could, I'll, I'll go with, with you, Doc, um, on this one. Uh, what will we see here in Utica, New Hartford, the Valley? Because we're not in that line of totality. What will we see here? We will still see very good uh, solar eclipse in the sense 99.8% of the sun will be blocked. So at the best time, we will see only a very thin rim, uh, a light rim on the sky. And the sky will be essentially dark, so that will be uh, the the best time, which happened at three thirty. Okay, all right. So, you know, one of my questions I have is, it it'll happen fairly quickly. And to the larger point about how the Earth rotates, and you know, in its relation to the Sun and Moon, it will be a short amount of time. But it also seems pretty shows how quickly we are moving, in a sense. Correct? Yeah. I guess. Uh, for more information, is uh, the entire process takes about two hours, from 2.30 to 4.30. That is the part I think that, that people are, are missing. We keep focusing on the three minutes, but if you remember when this hit in 2019, it, it, it is very gradual. So you begin to see 
Um, you begin to see it begin, getting a little bit less light. Uh, you'll begin to see it moving across, and you'll, you'll see it all happening. So the total process is certainly longer than three minutes. Right. Yeah. O- only the, the best time is about three to About three minutes. minutes. Okay, fair enough. Um, and what does, uh, how, how, as a scientist, um, how do you react? It seems like this is very, very exciting, just because it's very unique. Yes, uh, from the travel point of view, this is something we can see directly about the sun without going a- anywhere else. So yeah. this is the exciting point. And the other thing is that um, scientists have been using solar eclipse to discover science. So this is also a good time for us to learn about what solar eclipse can bring j- to us. For example, in the old days, the uh, scientists proved general relativity by Einstein simply during the solar eclipse. So this is something very fun, which we do not expect yeah, yeah. from from the uh, solar eclipse point of view. Uh, interesting. And uh, Dr. Boylan, uh, from a historic standpoint, um, I'm assuming we uh, we know so much more today. Uh, we get to have people like yourselves come in and, and we sit down and we talk about all of the things that are true and maybe some of the things that aren't true. But uh, it wasn't always that way. So throughout history, we've been dealing with things like this. And I'm sure at one point in history, this was the gods sending a message. Uh, talk about the history of events like what's going to happen on, on Monday. Well, it's it's there are many interesting histories uh, from around the world because indeed you know the, as people go out and and observe the quality of the air changes if you feel tense you're in good company with like yeah. all of your human <laughs> forebears it is very strange um, and cultures around the world came up with um, explanations of you know angry sky gods or one deity chasing the other um, having said that uh, not all cultures feared. Uh, the eclipses. Some saw it as an important portent or something marking an important event. The Haudenosaunee, in fact, the establishment of their um, the, um, union of the, the five yeah. nations is um, commemorated or is this traced to um, a solar eclipse happening, that uh, marking the si- seriousness of the um, the event. And there are some playful stories of you know siblings chasing each other or a father picking up his child, and that's the moon blocking yeah. the sun. Um, it's interesting to think about, you know, we have electric light, we don't pay attention to where the sun is on the horizon, but good to keep in mind that people used to pay much more attention to this. They had to pay attention to the seasons, to the placement of the right, sun and other right. objects in the sky just to understand how things work. And some cultures came up with pretty sophisticated ways of predicting the cycles here in the Americas. The Mayans, um, you know, uh, had the mathematics uh, worked out, but it doesn't mean they completely understood yeah, what yeah. was going on. Um, uh, Dr. Lung, um, do you, my wife is a, uh, is a second grade teacher. She is a firm believer that when there is a full moon, the kids are a little more rambunctious. Do you believe that's true? Um, I would think in a way that when the, when it's full moon, then it is com- uh, the distance from the moon, which means the gravity from the moon has more effects Then I could, uh, perceive the change in that way otherwise okay. i would think this sh- it they should be independent events okay <laughs> all right maybe <laughs> it's a maybe it's a phenomena that occurs based on the kids know it's a full moon so then they are like it's almost an excuse for them to be able to act out uh you as a teacher could answer that question as well um right i mean do you see a difference in uh, in students during a full moon time uh i think possibly um observing the the communities of people we work with, we may have some confirmation bias, like what's going on? Yeah, oh, it's a yeah. full moon. It's so a April moon. 8th, teachers yeah. may be saying, oh, what's a, what, a few of them are off the hook. It's good that school districts are allowing you know, ki- the kids to, to be home and uh, observe the, the, the phenomenon, but parents might notice. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yes. Well, you know, maybe something less, uh, far less anecdotal uh, from the standpoint of, but the, the moon and the lunar and solar activity does have impacts on things. Uh, you you did mention the possibility of animals acting strangely or differently, but with regards to the tides or other n- natural things that happen on Earth, what what will be impacted by the events of April eighth? Um, it is actually not because it just happened that the moon is in front of the Earth. Actually, the the moon is in fr- uh, in the sense of in front of the Earth, but not in front of the sun every month. 
because the moon ar rotate around the Earth every month, every 28 days. And th therefore, we uh, uh, just happen that we are between the, uh, the moon is along the line of sight from the Earth to the sun, which actually bring nothing special. Yeah. If okay. we think about Jupiter, it actually has solar eclipse every two days by the uh, moon, Io. So Interesting. So uh, we're not going to see any. You're not going to have your vehicle down on Daytona Beach on the sand, which, you know, the road, Route 1 goes right up the beach. Yeah, right. Uh, you every once in a while see it. I you see a vehicle so. that gets flooded and they're stuck in the water. That's not going to happen during this. Uh, and, of course, they're not even experiencing it anyway. So that is very interesting how you see much of the rest of the uh, world and the rest of the country looking at this like, you're talking about what? There's no big deal. We don't know what you're talking about because no one's paying attention to it. They're not affected. Uh, Bill, do you want to talk just a little bit and uh, just squeeze in? And I apologize for the studio is meant for it's all good, Bill. me, um, <laughs> and that's it. But somehow we've been able to crowd everybody in here. So, yeah. so we wanted, wanted to talk. Uh, nice briefly. and tight. You're going to have to uh, we wanted actually to talk. pull the mic right out of there. And, uh, pull it off. It's a handheld. Yeah, that is the best way for you it's to do it. It's a handheld. There so, we yeah. go. So uh, Monday, April 8th, we have a science DIY at SUNY Polytechnic uh, right at our Wildcat Fieldhouse. All of these events are taking place. So okay. right at noon with uh, Dr. Christina Boylan here, we have a DIY build your own camera obscura. Do you want to discuss what an obscura is quick? I think. <laughs> I think we did this. I, I wonder back when I seemed to be, I don't know, in second grade. Uh, I graduated high school in 1982. So... This will go back to the early 70s. There seemed to be a pretty decent eclipse. We were building uh, a, a, a box to be able to look at it. Do you recall anything like that back? Your memory is excellent. That's okay. exactly what we're doing. We're using a, a pinhole camera, yes. basically making a very small aperture, but creating the dark box, and that's what camera obscura means. Um, it does block whatever ambient light there is around, so your image inside will be that much more focused. Th that is a very safe way to observe the eclipse phenomenon because you need to face away yeah. from the sun and you're looking you know, into your box instead. So we'd love to have people come try to build their own, learn a little bit more about physics with Dr. Lung and myself. So we'll start with the camera obscura activity at noon so we have it ready for the eclipse event. And and the public is open uh, yep. or allowed to yep, take advantage of this. This is all open to the public. Okay, nice. And at uh, 115, we have exploring the science and culture of eclipses with these two that you have in your okay. studio again. Yeah, all right. Um, at 215, we have 200 half moon cookies that are going to be available for the first 200 people that come on out. <laughs> and uh, the first 500 people that come out get uh, free eclipse glasses. And we're also going to play e uh, Kahoot Trivia. Okay, with cool. some prizes. Nice. And right, right at two thirty. By the way, if I yeah, could, sure. we we have uh, Mike this morning who was suggesting that those half moon cookies should be all chocolate, except for a tiny the little rim. glow of uh, <laughs> of white around the outside. That's a good idea. Maybe all maybe right. we'll change it up. Okay. We'll see. Just be thinking. <laughs> yeah. Then on the uh, then we go outside to at two thirty p.m. or two forty five. We go outside to the Wildcat Fieldhouse turf uh, for the solar e solar eclipse viewing. And, boy, if we can be so lucky, and right now uh, this weather is just crazy. Uh, we could get a lot of rain this week. We could get a lot of snow. We really don't know where it's going to go. But uh, we certainly will be getting a, a great deal of precipitation. And uh, But it looks right now like we okay. might, right now, which could change three or four times before we get there, but right now, they're expecting a high pressure to come in on Sunday, which should last into Monday, which could mean we may get we may beat the odds because the odds are it's going to be cloudy. Well, we are hoping, hoping, hoping for good yeah. weather. I really hope that's the case. Wouldn't that be a, this is central New York? But yeah, <laughs> it is. Uh, wouldn't that be amazing? So as a uh, as a, uh, a professor of physics, um, I, I would ask you the. Uh, the excitement of this for for you to be right here, basically, in the path of totality. That's pretty cool, I would imagine. Yes, as an Earth citizen, yes. Yeah. This is something I, I haven't even wa I witnessed by myself so far. Okay, so this is the first for you. Yes, this is more like science discovery for me. Yeah, wow, that's awesome. And I believe, uh, you know, talking a little bit about the history of all of this, there was someone, I just had, saw a story recently that's been through maybe 13 of these 
total or partial eclipses, mm -hmm. has traveled around the world. And isn't it something how they are creating airlines are actually taking a trip and they're starting down uh, in the south, I believe, Texas or wherever, Arizona, and making their way. And they will travel during the entire time. Uh, it's quite an awesome trip, I believe. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Technology allows you to keep on experiencing a totality. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's pretty exciting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anything else you want people to know about what's going to happen at SUNY Poly on Monday? Well, we're going to have a really good time. Yeah. <laughs> we'll yeah. try to rope more of our colleagues in so we can have a good interdisciplinary discussion of what's going on during the eclipse. And, Bill, my guess is as a, uh, as a PR guy, this is just gold. Uh, yes. You just love every bit of it. Absolutely. So. We All want right. everybody to come out in the community. All right. SUNY Poly, and you guys will have glasses. We will have 500 okay. pairs for the first 500 people. All right. Great stuff. Thank you for living in our confines here today. We appreciate it. Uh, not easy, but thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I want to tell you about Fred F. Collison Sons. If you'd like to uh, get uh, in your home a, oh, you expected that. Very nice, Andrew. Uh, in your home, a free energy home audit. You can do so at, uh, at Collis. Just call them. It's absolutely free. And they'll work with you uh, scientifically to show you where uh, you may very well be losing heat in your home and ultimately losing money. Uh, call them today. It could be something uh, as serious as a furnace that is not efficient, but it could be uh, little things, uh, uh, insulation. Uh, you may have an old appliance like a refrigerator or uh, something to that effect uh, that could be uh, uh, basically grabbing uh, all of that electricity and, and, and causing waste for you. could also be something as, uh, as simple as a light bulb. Uh, they'll come in and give you a report, and here's the beauty of this. It costs absolutely nothing. It's free. Call out to uh, Collis today. Fred F. Collis & Sons, heating, cooling, and insulation in Yorkville, Rome, and located in Syracuse. We're back here tomorrow morning. Enjoy your day. Their lives were changed, and their world has been expanding ever since. In respect, compassion, knowledge, and ability. And it's only just begun. Because fueling the future of care starts here at the Wynn Hospital. Local care on a whole new level. The Wynn Hospital. Unwavering commitment and compassion. Learn more at mvhealthsystem.org. This is for you. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier your sleep better and feel your best right away. The biggest thing Navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages. It, it was from the first use. I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navage helps me clear the way literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navage difference yourself. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. They can talk about me, but I can't talk about them. I'm Chris Foster, Fox News. Former President Trump's complaint on True Social after the judge in his New York criminal case expands a gag order to stop attacks against his family as well as the families of anyone involved in the case. Trump's been going after Judge Juan Mershon's daughter online. The judge says the attacks threaten the integrity of the case by making people worry about their loved one's safety. 
Trump has now posted bond meantime in his civil business fraud case. A New York appellate court gave the former president 10 days to put up the money after a panel of judges last month agreed to cut the amount needed to stop the clock on enforcement. If Trump wins the case, he won't have to pay the state anything and will get back the money. The former president is trying to overturn a judge's finding that he lied about his wealth to secure loans. He denies any wrongdoing. Chris DeMeo, Fox News. Israeli Prime Minister.